All right, welcome everybody to our first Warcraft D&D session, 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 session zero, where we'll be going over our character creation. Uh, I'm joined today uh, by my lovely wife, Kelsey. Um, so I'm going to go around the table and kind of introduce ourselves and explain to us your experience with D&D or Warcraft. Oh, me first. Yeah. Well, as you all know, I am Morning Thunder, the uh, drunk elf. <laughs> In the other game, uh, which I've been playing for a year and a half or a little over, which was my first experience with D&D, and as far as Warcraft goes, I tried playing for a week and couldn't very well, but this seems like a, a pretty good way for me to get into the world of Warcraft, since it is something that my husband enjoys so much, I can be a part of it now. Um, but other than that, I mean, I know the, the story and stuff. Huh. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, I guess that's my brief story. But other than this that, is Becca. I know Becca. Becca. <laughs> I know absolutely nothing about any of this, but I'm excited to learn. There we go. <laughs> uh, that's the attitude. I don't know where to look. But anyway, I'm Scott. Uh, D&D experience is limited to one drunken night uh, previously. but uh, That's what she said. Exactly. I may, uh, <laughs> But he was the best. <laughs> I'm, a de- I'm, a, I'm, I'm a decent, I uh, guess, World of Warcraft player. I, uh, I raid as a Fury Warrior in the Guild Furiosa on Arthas US. I know I'm um, we, just killed, we just killed Heroic Kill Jaden last night. So nice. Awesome. Um, yeah, so I'll probably get upset when the lore isn't perfect, but we'll deal. <laughs> I'll do my best. I'll do my best. All right, I'm Jordan. I'm just going to say, I've always always known about this stuff, uh, friends that did it, didn't, wasn't really into too much of it, but I know a lot of it, um, I'm just gonna say, and I've so I'm a noob, basically, for most things, I haven't played World of Warcraft since, like, it was new, <laughs> you know, we played D&D that one drunken night back in college, um, but yes, that's it. First year. Yeah. Alright, just stuff my face. It happens. You guys are used to that. Yep. <laughs> so our game is going to take place in the World of Warcraft lore. Um, so backstory about everything. Uh, the first lore consisted of orcs coming through a dark portal from a different world, and that was 25 years ago, which they usually label as zero year. Uh, the second war consisted of the alliance fighting back against them. Because during the first war, the orcs basically ransacked their main city, Stormwind, pushed them off to the other continent. Second war is the alliance kind of fighting back and pushing orcs back to the, to the portal, um, where they close the portal. So now you have this issue where you have all these orcs stuck in Azeroth, and what to do with them. Third war consists of the Burning Legion. So that is a bunch of demons, basically. Um, the head demon being Sargeras corrupted the orcs to basically trick them into killing the people on their own planet, Draenor, and then invading Azeroth. But now they decided to kind of invade themselves during the Third War, where the orcs and the rest of the horde team up with the humans, the rest of the alliance, to take on the Burning Crusade. It's been about four years since then. A lot of drama. Uh, a lot of drama. Uh, the races still don't like each other. Uh, the alliance consists of your humans, dwarves, night elves, uh, gnomes, a lot of drama. Draenei, then worgens, if you guys want to be them as well. And pandas. And pandas. Oh, it can be panda? It can be panda. It can be panda. You want to change? If you're yeah. not just using vanilla races, you yeah. Panda. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it just has to we'll fit around the story where <laughs> you're going. Are you a talking panda? Yeah. yeah. It can be a kung fu panda. There was a whole, yeah, basic kung fu. There was a whole, yeah, pretty much. There was a whole expansion based on it. Yeah. I guess I didn't know I had that option. Yeah, you can change it up. Yeah. It's all right. You can be a panda. Um, a panda. And Ten dollars per race change. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Now on the horde side, you have your orcs, you have your trolls. Um, they're not like your typical uh, hobbit trolls where they're tall and bulky. There's more like the ogres looking. Uh, the trolls are actually tall, about seven foot, lanky. Think like basketball players, kind of build to them. Um, then you have your Forsaken, uh, which are the undead. Uh, very similar to, actually, that story is very similar to uh, Game of Thrones, where you had this 
frozen kind of king. Uh, in this case, it was Arthas, um, who marched the undead against the people of Azeroth. Uh, but during that time, he lost control of some of the Forsaken, so they decided to band together uh, and form their own kind of community, join up with the Lord. And along with them, you had the Torn, which are the tall cow people, basically. Uh, then you also have goblins. And you also have the Blood Elves. Which I may not be now. Which may not be now. So we'll see. Uh, then you also have goblins. Okay. And you also have the Blood Elves. Well, let's go ahead and let me see if I can't get this to play for you guys. So, I get some well, sound too. Uh, you think cleric of the light or the or war? Do you hate this order? No, I love. I was laughing at your name. All right. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> we'll get there. Go oh, on. Good. I kind of just want to be a That's big really fluffy fan. So be a panda. <laughs> be a panda. That would be different. A panda named but Jack Black. But you have to start <laughs> drinking more because pandas drink. Pandas drink a lot. I mean, that seems to be pretty. We're we're in your apartment. Accurate. You don't have to move right. very far to your bed or. Yeah. Bathroom. There might have been some echoing in there. Sorry about that. I had my Twitch channel going at the same time. So, sorry. We tried to, well, I tried to watch the movie last night to get in the spirit, and uh, I fell asleep. Did you watch the movie? <laughs> I've seen the movie. <clears throat> the movie's actually, the okay. what people will tell you, it's it was good. Okay. I actually really liked it. So if people are watching it, they I think I was like more excited about it than Jay was. <laughs> it was. It was, it was good. It was a little, uh, oh. Oh, we're going to watch it. Yeah, so this is the intro to the Warcraft, World of Warcraft. Four years have passed since the mortal vessels banded together. That's what I assume. That's a dwarf. It's got a schnoz. <laughs> Save Jonathan Stewart, the most important Jew. He is. That. So are the viewers watching this too, right now? Nope. They can find it though. Yeah. We get the sound at least. I'm not watching it either because I'm on the sound screen. Well, you've seen it before. What? A few hundred times. <laughs> A few hundred. See, but she looks so hot. That's a night elf, not a blood elf, by the way. Well, elf is an elf. Eh. And elves are actually like female elves and mostly played by 13 year old boys. <laughs> what? That have fantasies. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a female knight. Or 32 year old man. Oh, I have man. a fantasy. She's a druid. My, uh, my, monk, my monk tank is a female night elf. I mean, blood elf, sorry, I play more. I just feel like maybe I shouldn't be another elf. Though. This guy is ugly. Uh, a forsaken warlock. I kind of like him. So he went to the dark side? It's I'll explain it after the video. Warlocks are complicated. Yeah. There's the cow people. Show me a panda. Maybe a sexy panda? There's not going to be pandas in the oh. in this because the pandas, the pandas didn't show up until Mr. Pandaria. Cow people! There were a few, like Chen Storm style was in Warcraft, Warcraft 3, so they're out there, they're just not. That's an orc. Yeah. yeah. They actually had planned, instead of Drain Eye, they had planned pandas for Burning Crusade, and then they were like, eh. Yeah. Is this talking about the black and white bear? Yes, actually. <laughs> they literally are just big talking pandas. That's awesome. I like it. Yeah. Uh, and their life around, revolves around peace, tranquility, and alcohol. They don't yeah, always go right. together, though. I'm gonna be a sexy panda. I guess the female panda model is alright. They're, uh, they're curvy. They're, 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 they're bootylicious. It does. I mean, and then the, the male pandas are just. Baby fat. got back. <laughs> like Alright. So that was the intro to the World of Warcraft. Uh, so once again, I said about four years have passed since the Burning Crusade. Uh, the real main stable of World of Warcraft is that you have these two sides, which just keep button heads, the Alliance. There's no real evil and good. 
Uh, people can look at the orcs and see that they're evil because they infiltrated, you know, tried to pillage their, you know, Azeroth's land. Yeah. But now they're trying to peacefully survive while the alliance has a lot of hatred towards them. So you have some alliance actually killing the orcs, you know, without any mercy. Um, put them in tournament camps, forced labor. So there's evil on both sides. And there's actually good on both sides. So when choosing a character, don't think just because you're a horde, you're evil, or just because you're alliance, that you're necessarily good either. Um, based on you know how you guys choose, uh, it can be mixed. You can be all alliance, all horde. Doesn't matter to me. Uh, this this kind of dictate the story a little bit. Okay. So when we're using the D and D Beyond app, um, because of that, and a little bit easier for myself and creating characters. They don't have the Warcraft races on there. That's okay. So we're just gonna be reskinning some. So basically, we're going to plug in, you know, a different race in there that's traditional to the D&D 5e universe, and that's just gonna be our, you know, quote unquote, torn or, or something like that. They also have humans and dwarves and most of them actually goblins, gnomes, elves, orcs. A few uh, outliers though, but they don't have. All right. So that's the intro. Uh, just some, I guess, table rules. Alcohol obviously is okay. Cheers. <laughs> there are some games where it's not. Cheers. Imagine that. I'd be sad. Professional football. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we drink all the time when we watch professional football. <laughs> <laughs> True. Uh, cell phones, try to keep them to a minimum. Absolutely. Um, <laughs> try to keep conversations to the game relevancy. I mean, that can, one we're really bad at. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, it's feel just, like every game is Yeah, bad. it's okay if, like, you know... <laughs> A little tangent, but not like 20 minutes later or I back to the game. Well, because I usually don't edit these videos. So. Well, the only 20 minute tangent is going to be me when something's not right with the story. <laughs> You're not right Just with saying. the story. Um, most importantly, you guys are a team. So when you're creating a character, it's kind of make sure you guys want to work together. Uh, it shouldn't be like one guy against everybody or half and half. Uh, if there is horde versus alliance, there's going to be some butting up heads, but it's not going to be like. I want to sabotage everything and mm. <clears throat> yeah I mean that's the pretty much the thing about World of Warcraft is even though the Horde and Alliance hate each other I feel like I was down to it they, they work together pretty well it's always a common enemy yeah you know the Scourge the Scourge yeah. the Scourge <clears throat> not yet though okay I'm trying it's okay you're close the Scourge <laughs> well no actually we are post the Scourge yep. yeah the Scourge um, no longer exists well in North sure Rend they, they do they do they're just kind of biding the time they're, they're on uh, time out up there mm -hmm. um oh. Rules, uh, if there's any question as far as the rules go, generally I'll just rule in favor of the players. Unless I know specifically where in the book it is, it'll take me a couple seconds. Otherwise, I don't want to waste time. So I'll give you guys the benefit of the doubt. That's dangerous. Do you know what kind you're doing? I mean, for the most part, I, I'll understand, you know, I don't think it's a trap pulling over on me, but if there's some sort of conflict, like... An elf? Um, I was going to Almost a strength check to knock down a door or something like that. Who knocked down the door? If you want to try to knock down the door, what's your strength check? I'll just say oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 15 or 10, something like that. Versus me like going through a book, or... wasting time trying to find it. Yes. Oh, I don't have that. He thinks you don't need it. I, yeah, I thought you had a character already planned out. I didn't know I could be a panda. You don't know. <laughs> you don't know. So I can't, so my character on here, I can change her? To... I think so. Okay. Let's get some background music going, too. Um... Metagaming, try to keep it to a minimum. So this comes with Kelsey's D&D experience. Like, let's say we fight, uh, and we fought before, your character might not know about it. Scott, if you know, like, oh, I know this from Warcraft, I've I played it a thousand times, you know, that it's yeah. like, I, you can't say like, oh, I know who the boss is, you know. Bitch, I got you. Yeah. I know your weakness. Yeah. Uh, Min-maxing. Druid tanks. Don't worry about min-maxing too much. Just play a character that you're going to like. Um. It's a min max. So min max is basically like I want to choose this race with this class because I they get the most benefits towards that class, and I want to go this class specialty because they they'll do the most damage. That ball there. Right. Oh, I don't need a second ball. <laughs> I don't want to be that guy. I'll help you. But I will be this guy. No, you you beat that on me. Communicate. Have fun. Obviously. You must have fun. And relax. Yeah. The hardest part is really this first session and creating a character. Everything else from there is a lot more go with the flow and under, you know, under, <laughs> I 
Classic. What are you doing? He's pouring the chips with yeah. the yeah. Oh. <laughs> I was like... <laughs> I didn't want to piss off the army, Mike. <laughs> right? <clears throat> um, Someone's probably sitting in their underwear with their headphones watching us right now being like, oh, thank God he did that. Right? <laughs> I can't hear anything. And uh, please be on time. Uh, only because we'll schedule this either for live or... Uh, you know, so our bells shows at the same time. Not, we're not waiting on you. We love predetermine that. Yeah. Yeah, we'll get a doodle little scheduler out there for everybody. Um, there are three pillars to D and D. You have your combat, your role playing, and your adventuring. Uh, combat will go over down a little bit further away after uh, creating our characters, just because that's can be complicated, and uh, we'll have to describe that in details. Role playing is uh, self explanatory. It's easier. If you'd like to do a voice, go for it. I encourage it. I'll be doing plenty of voices over here uh, from females to kids to Morlocks to God knows what. Um, <laughs> you'll see. <laughs> uh, adventuring is the third one. Uh, that's where you're actually you could just like uh, exploring a cavern or exploring a piece of the map or just like trying to go from point A to point B and seeing what's out there. Usually I'll prompt the dice rolls, but if you'd like to check for something, you can always ask for it. Uh, skill checks. Try not to metagame. I'll use metagame again. Basically, that means don't think as yourself, like think as a character in a situation. So let's say Scott's trying to pick a lock, and he rolls like a three. Or May's trying to check for a trap, and he rolls a three. And then everyone at the table is like, well, shit, he didn't see anything because he rolled a three. But in game, your character might be like, oh, Scott's character definitely knows what's going on. He says there's no trap. Let's go for it. And so try to all die horribly. Yeah, try yeah. to balance that out. Um, if that you do want to roll, too. make sure you, you roll. You say you want to roll. I don't want to have like Scott roll and then gets a three, and then Becca rolls and gets a four, and then Kelsey rolls and gets a two, and then just like, you know, it's just a waste of time. Just you know, try to stick We're to your guns. I think still. bears just do this to lax and they open. Yeah, right. Most of the time. Um, so the D20, it's a 20-sided die. Oh, I'll go ahead and pass these out too. Choose a, you have your own dice. I have my own dice. Choose a color bag or whatever that matches kind of what color scheme you want, doesn't matter. Uh, so the D20 goes from one to 20. On a 20 roll, it's a critical success. On a one, it's a critical <laughs> failure. a critical failure, great. So let's get that out of my system today. So we'll, we'll explain what <laughs> those all mean. Cheesy dice. Yeah, cheesy dice. That's right. really cheesy now. No, it's, oh no, there's a little cheese. Yeah. Just a little cheese. It ain't easy. Do you want the black and white one? And we'll go over what that means in battle. Um, basically, it means the higher the number, the better your roll is, the better or more likely you're to succeed at something. The lower the roll, the worse, obviously. So if you roll to spot a trap and you get a 20, hey, you probably spotted it. You get a 1, you might have set it off. don't see it. So you set it off while you were looking for yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> um, but then at least it only affects you and everyone else is like, whoa, well, there shit. was a trap. <laughs> yeah. So it could be beneficial. Thanks for finding the trap. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, for your backgrounds, I'll explain what the other little indented parts mean. Uh, here in a second, Jordan. Uh, stealth versus hidden versus color versus invisibility. Um, just because you're stealthing through something doesn't mean you're invisible. So if someone like a guard is looking down a hallway and you think you're going to try to stuff through it, even if you roll like a 20, he's going to see you silently walking down the hallway. So it's a difference there. Uh, you can be invisible. There's invisibility spells. You can walk through there. But you still make noise. Uh, cover helps you out with trying to protect yourself from uh, enemies doing damage to you. But we'll talk about that in battles. Um, let's go and jump into actual creating characters. So first at the top, you have your player, your name, your character's name. You can hold off your character's name if you're not sure what race you want. But let's go through the races. Uh, it's probably the first one to go through. And let me get the D. Some visuals. I like on. the visuals. Visual yeah, I like it. We don't have that. Can we get to see them? Yeah, we're gonna. Yeah. Uh, sure. Oh, I did thought that that's what you course? were doing. Or did that change? It didn't. Put that on. Yes. So the screen, the win window right, for the let video. Let me do. Transitions, uh, mouse click. There we go. Animation, slideshow, current slide. 
Mm. That work? Mm-hmm. Okay. I have a, like a nasty Shrek. Yeah, a nasty Shrek. <laughs> oh, why do you fail me so hard? Our point. Suck. There we go. Current slide. Should be a human. Yes. Okay, there we go. So, you have your line side. Dun, that switch. Dun. Or no. Okay. Lion's human? Yes. C. I don't know It worked. Alright, we don't have to see it. That's fine. What about that? No. Not a. What? Still a lion's human. No, it's probably because, okay. I see a mouse. That? Yeah, that clip switch now? No. Mm -hmm. There we go. Ah. There it is. Alright, your night elves. Fair enough. Boys play that. And they're still alive. Mm -hmm. Night elves are alliance. Mm -hmm. Blood elves are horde. Next, I think you just click it. Dwarf. Dwarfs. It's because he's a hunter. Right. That's a nice gun. Does he work into them? Or they we can just actually <coughs> close. Huh? Yeah, gnomes. Gnomes are cute. They're really tiny. They're really tiny? Oh, yeah. They're like buddies. No pandas. <laughs> a draenei. What is a draenei? So, space goat. Yep, so a they come from goat. the same planet as the orcs. Um, but They're magic. Originally, right? they actually come from a different planet. So Sargeras, the big evil bad guy, right, so has so been hunting the draenei down. They actually have spaceships, Hell and they man. flew to the planet, uh, which they labeled Draenor. Uh, crash landed there, lived the orcs peacefully for a few years, several years, and then Sigurus founds them, or finds them, and convinces the orcs to basically kill them by tricking them. Uh, Actually, if you want to be specific, I'm pretty sure Kill Jaden found them. By Kill Jaden, yeah. And you just killed him? <laughs> for the, like, the third time. Oh. So, Kill Jaden orders the orcs to kill them. Uh, he thinks they're all dead, so he's like, alright, let's conquer Azeroth uh, for the magical powers there. Uh, they found a well of eternity there thousands of years ago, 10,000 years ago. Um, so he commits the orcs to build a portal, uh, tricks Medivh from the movie to open the portal on the other side so the orcs mm -hmm. can go in there and kill everything, lay waste, and then collect the booty. Collect the booty. <coughs> That's you, got, you scrolled all the way through at this point. How does it happen? It was on it's auto. a slideshow. It should be 10 seconds. Like It wasn't working before and now it's working. And it's, it's working pretty hardcore. All right. So then you had your orcs, your trolls. Current slide. Panda, panda, panda. I could sing that panda song. You can. I'm like hot and cold. I can't. I can't. Just kind of think about it. Do you want your character to look more human? Or do you want it to look more beastly? Do you want fur? Do you want, like, multicolored skin? Do you want to be a furry? <laughs> Whatever you want. Depends on the day. Want a tail. <laughs> right? <laughs> Word. Well, it'd be dramatically different than my other game, so maybe. Alright. Like man <clears throat> spreading over here. <laughs> you got the table. Is that a thing? Man spreading? Yes. I guess. And let me pull up. Panda. Am I supposed to be doing something with these numbers? Yeah, I'll get there in a second. I just yeah. want to make sure I have all my what have face covered here. Uh, how many of these are there? Alright, does everybody know what race they want then? Mm-hmm. Yep. Panda. Alright, you're going panda. I'm going panda. Okay. You don't know yet? I'm flexible. You're flexible? More balance. I don't know. What are you, you going to do the... No, I'm actually going to be a human. You're going to be a human? Mm-hmm. Panda. All right, we got a, I got a human over here. All right. And are you an elf? Dry knight. Oh, oh, all right. right. Mm-hmm. I got spaceships. So They're all broken, though. So is that horde? Well. Yeah, damn, that's that's a light. Hard. Uh, that's a light. How would you describe your character? Is he more in touch with, like, the light, more priestly, or is he more, uh, like, a fighter? <clears throat> he is more priestly, if you will. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I'll say he's been. Is your human alliance then? Mm -hmm. Touched. Is a panda alliance? Panda can be either. Yep. 
Uh, so I guess we're going alliance then for our, our team. Oh, it doesn't matter. Or yeah, I mean, or yeah, exactly. So since you neutral, actually, it's up to Becca. If you want to go horde, then that's fine too. And just, and just begin at neutral. With either elf. Yeah, I know there's good elves and, or night elves and blood elves. Blood elves. Man, she is catching on quick. Huh? Yeah. Or uh, sorry. I kind of want to be a peaceful or, panda. All, all, whether they're horde or alliance, all pandas are peaceful. It is in their nature. Interesting. Well, then I can be a night elf. Then we can all be on the I'm fine with that. Sounds good. All right. So I thought about you. being an orc, but I thought you were going to be a dwarf, so I was like, eh, he'll be the tank. <laughs> I'm still going to be the tank. <laughs> yeah. You'll see. All right, so, let's see. Okay, cool. Did you see the banners, though? What would it make me? That's the alliance level. I'll take one. Take one. Ah. Yeah. Oh, man, shit, you get So you're going to be at so close. You are. Okay. Well, if that one was that color, it'd be Lannister. That's true. <laughs> so, uh, for your night elf, you're going to be Lannister. Yeah. So, for your night elf, are you more of a friendly people person night off, or are you more like I just love nature night off, or, or are you kind of, I just want to hang out like the dark caverns of night elves? Mm, dark caverns. Dark caverns? Okay. Do you want to be evil? Three, four. Becca's like, only oh, kind of. <laughs> I'm trying to think of my character. She's kind of borderline. Mm-hmm. 29. <laughs> okay. Next up after that is her classes. So that's the five-page sheet kind of gave to you guys. Uh, if you have, know what you want, then that's fine. If you don't know, uh, let me know. Well, I, I guess what this says. Who knows what class they want? Me. Jordan, you're good. Scott, you're good. I need a little help because I need to figure out which is closest to what my guy is. Okay. Uh, Kelsey, we'll come back to you. All right, Scott, what are you looking for? Something, uh, whatever's closest to a blood death knight. A blood death knight. All right, let me see. I actually went through and kind of... Some of the stuff down. Mm-hmm. What about the Storm and Dragon Knight? I don't know what a Blood Death Knight is, but it sounds similar. He's a, you know, plate armor wearing, two handed sword wielding badass. Badass, basically. Why does it not need to be a druid if I'm a bear? He does, uh. <laughs> he does, uh. Unless you want to change your human. He does basically by, by hurting that she, enemies, classes? he heals himself yeah. and the absorbs damage for the group. <laughs> yes. And right, I can I sign all of you like should be that. like a cleric, I guess. Nah. Like a, I never played a cleric. That'd be interesting. They do have spells. There's a way. There's like a, a monk cleric. Could be like a monk panda. Monk panda. That'd be legit. Wearing leathers and be like a. Hey. Oh, Scott, you're getting up to get there. Yes, Jordan. I just I stood up to get it. I wasn't paying attention. Let me grab that real quick. We live in Birmingham. <laughs> we'll get oh, oh yeah, the coffee's I, ready too. I'll also take some of that. I might get one in a little bit. Any of y'all want coffee? No. It's hot and there's all these lights. We can turn the AC down. If I'm in normal temperature, then it must be scalding. Because I'm always freezing. So. I'm dying. I'll turn it down. But then again, I'm always hot. We're not going anywhere, guys. Stay online for there. Yeah, everybody just stare at Jordan. Do I have to take my shirt off? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Damn it. Knew this was gonna happen. But I agree to this. It's just like last time. <laughs> it's not being like last time, Jordan. You're fine. <laughs> On that note, I'm gonna. You're right. Does okay. anybody's character have extreme strength? Scott. All right, so I'm back. I'm back. I'm Yours back. actually. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Drafts. Me? Right. No. Because no. Drain and I are strong. We have. Nice. You want so um so I asked that because. Based on the race, just based on what problem. extra ability scores you get, mm-hmm. uh, his is actually be more. That's a frillish, but more priestly, so it's a little bit different. Um, priestly, huh? Priestly. A little weaker than, yeah, the normal Dre and I. Well, uh, oh, his, oh. Okay. Yeah, yeah, his, yeah. In general, yes, uh, you're correct. I thought that. mine was priestly. I'm like, oh, no, no, yeah. Uh, so, DK Blood. Yeah. Um, there is a Warlock, uh, the Undying, Pact of the Blade. Okay. So, basically, um, you manifest like a evil weapon of, of sorts like that, mm-hmm. your and your god or the person who gives you powers mm-hmm. is someone that won't die. So kind of like a, a death knight feel to that. That's kind of what I marked it down as. Um, 
I have to see about armor proficiency. I'm not sure if you can actually wear heavy armor with that. It's gonna be a pretty shitty tank if you wear a squall. Yeah. Um. The, what's your what's your race again? Your human. Human. <laughs> Let me see. Clerics are healers. Let me go and plug that on Ed and see what happens. Can I take you a tandem Queso sorcerer? Like ah! Yeah, you can do whatever you want. But I also want to fight as a panda. Panda's actually a really good self healer. Most of their classes. How many classes are there? Well, in the game, uh, your proficiency will be in light armor. Your other option is to go. Uh, he's going cleric, right? Um, Me? Yeah. I was thinking warlock. You can't really be with the light and a warlock, George. Damn it! All right, I'll be a cleric. They actually, well, there. Let me see if they actually have that in this game. Mm. Um, there is. I just made that. I idea. thought I had to be cleric, but I'm like, um. I mean, there are Seven, warlock. Dreadnought eight. warlocks. Yeah, what do they do? So, they use the fell. Basically, you know, so like the evil demon Sargeras, they actually are able to control that themselves and use that toward the power. Um, but there are. Let me just make sure. Ooh, I'm a rogue assassin. Okay. Use this rogue for? Yep. I'm gonna live my life. I like it. Hmm. That's the only warlock kind of thing they have for dry eye. Yeah. Um. That doesn't sound that fun. There's. I mean, you can always instead of like, attaching yourself to the fell, you can get your your powers from the the old great old old one. gods. Yeah. I'll do that. So that it's, it's more like Cthulhu esque rogue kind of. Uh, you know, lore to them, but they've been on like Azeroth for, you know, one <laughs> or whatever. Let's do it. Okay. Can I be that? Yeah, okay. Um, so a lot of the times, like, when you, when you build, like, your base character, it's going to take you a little bit to actually unlock some of this fun stuff. You know, so, like, first level, you're going to be very basic. So, I might be like, well, where's my, like, my awesome abilities? It's, well, we want to make sure we kind of walk before we run. We also like swearing on the show. <laughs> so you're going to be an assassin swearing. rogue? I'm going to be a rogue assassin panda. Okay. Where's Kelsey go ahead and create that? Can I still have the same name? Yeah, you can do whatever you want. I was I just put down Kelsey for right now, and then I'll change that. Um, choose class. I gotta pick a background now. Change. Actually, not about that. Warlock. So kind of like your background would be. When the orcs open up the portal yeah. into Azeroth, like, you know, 25 years ago or whatever, you're able to sneak through yourself. Yeah. And when you got kind of lost in this new world, you started kind of hearing voices from these uh, these old gods there. I like the old gods. Sounds good. All right. And I'm the light. Good. All right, there's that. Mm-hmm. Let me get this down. Old, the old, we call it the great old ones, but... You can't thing. be a criminal oh. or an assassin if you're alive, can you? Yeah. Okay. Lions needs assassins. Yeah. So I think. Ooh, I like this. How haunted one. Ooh. I kind of like that. <laughs> the warlock? Or, oh, the background? Haunted. Haunted one. <clears throat> that comes from the Christmas Trad book, actually. Really? Yeah. I like it. Uh, I love it. All right, Becca. You um, are a dark elf. We prefer the. The moonlight or the insides of caverns versus like the sunlight. You don't like the sun too much, so. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the sun's not good for me. Oh, your character, not not you. Yeah. <laughs> no, she's pale too. My character. Um, so I'm kind of between the way of the four elements and storm sorcery. Oh, okay. I'm kind of going with if any of y'all read Brandon Sanderson's. Um, King Mist- Killers is a Mistborn. Mistborn trilogy. I'm going with Vin. I like her a lot. Mm-hmm. She's kind of antisocial. She can control metals and do a bunch of different things with them. Um, she wants to be good, but she's really kind of Not conflicted a lot great. of the time. She wants to do the right thing, but she gets too wrapped up in her emotions and can't quite. Oh, right my kind of girl. I know that. She's had a pretty <laughs> shitty life, so yeah. it's hard for her. You read it then? 
Oh yeah, I've read everything he's written. I need to talk to you about that. They're they're serializing uh, Oathbringer currently on on Tor's website. Nice. Um, so yeah, between Way of the Four Elements and Storm, so so yeah. Um. Yeah. Storm sorcery sounds a lot like shaman. Yeah, they both uh, one be like more like enhancement versus uh, the other one, elemental. So you want to be up close punching, or you want to be back kind of casting? Using no, I do storm sorcery. She's a puncher for sure. She's a puncher. Oh, never mind. Don't do that then. Four, four elements, then I think. And actually, yeah. you don't have to decide that right now. You can decide it later. So it's okay. All right. What do we decide for mine? Um, warlock, you can't get. Uh, Armor proficiency, of course. All right, I'm gonna be a warrior then. For right now, anyway. As you get, as you level up, you, you can probably take a feat for it, but. Mm. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> me. <laughs> I do that all the time. So close. Yeah. <laughs> what? I, I, was, all the I was rolling on my dice by the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. What should I do then? <clears throat> I rolled on it. Need a twelve and a four, <laughs> or maybe more. All right, that's fine. I'll actually be. I will be. I'll basically play a paladin. There is a. Okay. I like it. <laughs> I'll be a paladin, and I mean, if I have to, what if? I mean, obviously, the Oath of Vengeance seems to appeal to me. Yeah, right. That's close to. You are the Oath of Vengeance. I actually want to be called Mochi. I like it. Mochi the Panda. Okay. So we get yours going again. The human. Oh no, he'll be a dwarf now. If I don't. Dwarf. dwarf? Yeah. Now he's a dwarf. (laughs) Okay. Um, Which which dwarf would you like? You have the hill dwarfs. The. Iron Dwarfs, and you have, I like, the... Dark iron. Iron. I can be a Dark Iron Dwarf? Yep. Hell yeah. Dark Iron. All right. Sounds like yeah. you all want to be yeah. bored. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? Dark, dark. <laughs> Warlock. That's because bad guys are more interesting. I'm an assassin. Guys. I just want cool-ass powers. The Alliance needs assassins, too. Yeah. Yeah, I'm an Alliance assassin. People need to die. People need to die. We're like the Suicide right. Squad, that's all. The Alliance. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah you're anti- we're anti-heroes. Mm-hmm. Mostly. Okay. So Scott, I have you ready. I'm ready. Ready. All right. Next up, we our class is done. There, I'll make a fill in uh, some of your stats for this. So there should be a proficiency table at the bottom of the page. Yes. Let's see. Okay. Um, we'll go around the table real quick. Yeah, let me make sure I get yours. Is it race? More queso. <laughs> no. I guess Scott's gonna have some with me. So for no, Kelsey, we're good. Yeah. Um, kid, kid. You need to choose four from these. Okay, so go ahead and put like little tick marks real quick next to so them. For no. my skill proficiencies. Yep. I just choose any four. I'm gonna tell you right now. Oh. Okay. So as as I list them off out loud, uh, just go ahead and pull a tick mark so okay. you can decide afterwards. All right. Mm-hmm. Athletics. Athletic. Deception. Ooh. I'm an athlete. Perception. Insight. Insight. Intimidation. Intimidation. Perception. Oh. You said perception. I said de- deception. Deception. Oh, perception and deception. I thought you said perception. You don't have to read them back. Uh, performance. Persuasion. Stealth. Investigation. Sleight of hand. Acrobatics. All right. That's a lot of those. Uh, Becca. Mm-hmm. I thought you said you had to pick four of those. Oh, I have to pick four? Yeah, pick four, yeah, Uh-oh. of those. Um, same thing. I'm going to list off some proficiencies for you. Uh, ready? Right. Acrobatics. Okay, so. History. Insight. Religion. Stealth. Okay. And you also get to choose a an instrument, it looks like. Oh. A musical instrument or artisan's tool. Ooh, I like that. Um, I'm not gonna list them all off. I'll let you just kind of use up imagination. I'll find something that's close to it. As you, you should like. be a bass Can I do player. The Ocarina of Time. Um, Ooh, can be a flute. Flutist. Flautist. Scott, there's a flute if you like the flute. I flout. Pat, 
the only one I can Scott actually play. plays the fancy flute a lot. I'll put the flute down <laughs> right now. By himself in his and room. I'll come back to you. Practice. Right. Uh, yeah. Scott. Go. Same things. You ready? Mm hmm. Athletics. I like it. Insight. Don't like it. Intimidation. I like it. Medicine. Okay. Persuasion. And religion. I picked four of those. Uh, oh, sorry. Kelsey, you pick four. Becca, you pick two. Got it. And Scott, you pick two. Cool. And Jordan. That's me. All right. You have Arcana. I figured. Deception. Ooh, I like it. History. Yep. Investigation. What's that? Okay. Intimidation. Mm. And nature. Ooh. I get to pick four? Pick two. Pick two. Yeah. It's performance. Um, you, know. you want to play a flute? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> she wants to play the pants flute. She, she needs a high performance score. Stealth and sleight of hand would be silly to have both of those, right? Stealth and sleight of hand? And sleight of hand. Oh, no, no. The two different things. Oh. You want to try to pickpocket someone. That's. I can't deal with this. Do you want to be like Joe on Risk Development? <laughs> yeah, I will know. <laughs> One penny. That's a good reference. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Let's do a twelve. Oh, that means we can ask you questions and you know stuff. So is that one? I I picked Arcana. Oh man. Mm -hmm. All right. Whenever you're ready, just let me know and I'll uh, oh update him accordingly. I'm ready. All right. I'm ready. Jordan, we'll go with you. Then we'll kind of backtrack it. You chose Arcana. I heard. Akrona and history. And history. Oh, smart guy. Mm-hmm. All right, Scott. I'm bookworm. Um, but I'm also drunk. <laughs> intimidation. I'll figure that. Yep. And persuasion. Oh. oh. You can't intimidate them. Might as well kind of bullshit their way through. Right. Right? Try it one way first, and that doesn't work. Beat the shit out of them. Yep. <clears throat> okay, okay. Everything I do is going to be decided by the dice today. Total chance. Alright, while they're, uh, are you set back up? Yes. Okay. You should, you should go Acrobatics grocery shopping like that. Acrobatics? Oh, that's what Every, they had every chose for your birthday. Like there you go. And the flute, is that okay? I just don't quite understand what I'm picking. So you can choose, uh, so you can choose between a musical instrument or artisan's tool. So for instance, you can choose between, I'll just run through them, let me know if you hear something you like. Alchemist supplies, bagpipes, brewer supplies, mm -hmm. calligraphers supplies, brewer supplies. supplies. Supply, carpenters yeah. tools, cartographers tools, cobblers tools. I feel like if you're going for Vin. Cooks utensils, drum, dulcimer, dulcimer would be cool. Glass blowers tools, horn, Alchemy. jeweler's oh. tools, Alchemy. other workers tools, tools. Alchemy tools. Dungeon Wizard, <laughs> liar, he says alchemist tools, mason's tools, painter supplies, pan <laughs> flutes, <laughs> pan flutes, <laughs> <flute. laughs> not pan's flute, <laughs> pan's <laughs> tools, Skin a shawm. A That's Smith's, a skin flute, not pants flute. Smith's tools. Well, I was trying to be... Tinker's tools. <laughs> a vi viol? Viol? Viola? Viola? Is that yeah. I? That's like a little... Oh, that's like a little... Um, it's a bigger violin. V-I-O-L. Vi 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 okay. uh, wow. right. Why would you carry around a big violin? Weaver's tools. That gives you like the middle range tools. of sound. The cello then oh, goes lower. The and the yeah, bass goes even higher than that. The first one. We had a Korean kid back in elementary school. And he played cello. There you go. And he'd be like, Paul, Paul, i play the cello. <laughs> your, like, your language uh. is awesome. All right, Kelsey, you have yours? Yeah. I'm right, going to grab that real quick for me. Okay, it's deception. Mm -hmm. Of course. Insight. Yep. Athletics. Ooh. Yep. Why and did she get sleight of hand. I don't know. Because she's married, Rogues so. are very, uh... Do I have to sleep with them? Damn it. Yeah, right. I just want one <laughs> yeah, more. Yeah, I didn't know that was a requirement. One nature. Uh, <laughs> you do play the pit pants flute. Um, <laughs> right. Well, if you guys said it, I think most of the words were pretty self-explanatory, but, like, insight is taking, like, a poker player, like, reading another yeah. person's face. That's more insight. Whereas investigation is thinking, like, oh, here are the five, here are the five cards on the table. Here's my hand. What's the, what's the probability of me winning the hand? That's kind of more intelligence versus okay. okay, so much hurt. <gasps> Kelsey, you lost some weight. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, Kelsey. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I get to choose me expertise in both uh, two other of those. Two of those? I think so. Or uh, anything. What? Anything. I'll come back over whenever you're ready. Okay. So, expertise for rogues means you get double proficiency. So, oh. sleight of hand. Uh, check. Okay. And out of the one, the four that I chose? You, yeah. Uh, count as sleight of hand. You also get to choose acrobatics, arcana, athletics, deception, insight, or thieves tools. Mm -hmm. So, thieves tools are used to pick stuff. Right over here. 
Can you say that again? Sure. The bathroom's right over here. No. <laughs> uh, acrobatics, arcana, athletics, deception, insight, and thieves' tools. Did you say expertise? Was that one? Arc- arcana. So that's the name of the ability that she has as a rogue. Expertise. Oh. Expertise in arcana, then. Okay. I, I get a lot of shit, man. <clears throat> All right, next up are your ability scores. Okay. Um, so those are the points I explained out to you guys. Yeah. Um, go around the table. We'll go over here since two ladies are gone. Jordan, mm-hmm. for your your race bo- uh, bonuses. Strength. Uh, you get a, oh, here's a racial bonus. You get a bonus to wisdom and charisma. How much? Oh, sorry. Plus one to wisdom. And a plus two to charisma. Ooh, charismatic. So you're very in touch with the gods. Uh, that's that's kind of my issue. So if you chose like the other one, you'd probably be more strength, more fist fighting. Where since you're a little bit more in touch, almost kind of like Prophet Bellin. You know, he's he's not a frontline fighter, but, but you know, he's. But in your case, the you're not into the god. You're not into the light. You're into the great old ones, Ilganoff and mm-hmm. Yog Saron and right. all that. Mm-hmm. So now. Um, you can start thinking about, there's a standard array, which I posted, or uh, mm-hmm. it's on there. Um, you can put those numbers into places that you like. Uh, I would say charisma is your number one ability, though. So you usually want that to be your highest, because mm-hmm. that's where all your spells are going to be based off of. Okay. So like when you roll to attack on something, the higher the number, the better the chance. Uh, so think about that. Your other option is the points by system. Mm-hmm. So it gives you a little more flexibility in there. Um, you have 27 points. So... If you want to go from 8 to 9, mm-hmm. you would lose a point, so now I have 26 points, right? Mm-hmm. But if you want to go from 13 to 14, that costs you 2 points. Just so, like, the higher it is, you get a little bit less return on it. Mm-hmm. So, something about you can mess around with that if you want. Yeah. Uh, Scott, um, your racial benefits are you get a plus 1 to strength mm. and a plus 2 to constitution. And I assume I want my oh, highest yeah. thing to be strength. Uh, that depends. Do you want to be... So, Constitution is going to tell you how much hit points you get. Oh, that So, one. whenever you level up, you get a bonus based on what your Constitution is. Okay. Um, so, you can put... With a point by system, you can you put 15s of both of those and kind of suck at other things. Mm-hmm. It gives you the flexibility to do so. So, up to you. Or you can give a 15 of strength and a 14 to Constitution, and then they'll both be 16 I total. Mm-hmm. I so. cool with the case of all that. Mm. All right, back. We're on the ability scores oh, part. Got okay. Haley's card. Okay. Delicious. Um, your racial bonuses. You get a plus two to dexterity and a plus one to charisma. So now for the next column over from there, uh, there's a standard array. So that means you can use those points and kind of put them wherever you want, um, or you can use the point by system, where you start at eight across the board, and if you put one point, let's say you go from eight to nine. You subtract one from twenty-seven. So now I have twenty-six points to kind of divvy up. It gives you a little more flexibility, like or the, we the standard this. array is fine too. So I would put all eights in ability. If you want to, and then kind of, it's, it's you either use the 15, 14, 13, 12, 10, 8, or you can do the point by, which basically make a character count of how you want to kind of spread it out. Mm-hmm. Uh, and your class was monk. Uh, so you probably want to put most of the, the highest one would probably be dexterity. You want to be quick. Uh, that's going to tell you how. That's what I had. There you go. All right. Kelsey, same thing. Um, you know, you've mm-hmm. done something similar to this. Uh, your racial bonuses, though, yeah. is plus one to strength. Figured. And plus two to wisdom. Ooh. I like the wise creatures. So mess around with that. As I chomp down on a piece of waffle. There was whipped cream over there. Son of a... No. Can you pass it? Need it? Give me seconds want? later. Oh. Uh, it's it's like I'm going to do the point by system. All right. So, for charisma, how how many one points can oh, I put sorry. in? Oh, sorry. Uh, Mexican go, the point by is 15. Okay. Not counting your racial bonus. So... Okay, so you want to put all 15 in the charisma? Yeah, how many points would that be? So I have 27, you said? Yep. Uh, now, now you're down at 18. That's not bad. No. Yeah, it takes you uh, 9 total points to get from 8 to 15 because it takes you... 
one point each to get the 13, and then four points from there up. So we put nine points That's there, hard. and then so this would be a uh, 15, like we said. <laughs> um, wisdom, I'd like it to be, how much would it take the 13? Yep, that would take you uh, one, that would take five points. Five points, I'll do that. Okay, so you're down to 13 now. And up, oh, and then, ooh, intelligence, same thing to get the 13. Take you five more points. Five, four, what am I down to? Eight. Um, constitution, <laughs> let's put in three, and let's put two into, let's put actually, yep, two into, wait, so you said five? You said eight. So, yep. let's do four in the constitution, okay. and three in dexterity, one in strength. Okay. Uh, just, uh, so ten is kind of like average. Um, so like when you, let's say we're rolling a d20 for a check and you have like a 10 score, you don't add anything to it. If you have a nine or an eight, you subtract one from it. Um, so I think okay. I, put the, I put the actual arithmetic on there. It's pretty complicated. Basically, uh, you subtract 10 from it. So let's say he has like a 14 total, uh, intelligence, right? Mm -hmm. And he was doing like an intelligence check. Everything's calculated on the sheets too for you, so don't worry about it. Um, so it'll be 14 minus 10 is 4 divided by 2 is plus 2. So you roll d20, add 2 to it. Um, but don't worry about that too much. Just worry about kind of building the character you want. Do I need to put anything in the modifier column? Um, no, don't worry about that. I just threw that in there as the case we wanted to do it. But the, this character sheet will print that out. Cool. Alright, Jordan, you are all set there then. Mm -hmm. Scott, go. Uh, are you ready to go? Yep. Okay, are you using the point buyer or the standard array? I'm just going to do the array. Okay, yep. So my strength is 15. Yep. My dex is 13. Okay. My constitution is 14. My intelligence is 12. Wisdom 10 and charisma 8. All right, so 15, 13, 14, 12, 10. Wait, is that what I was doing? 15, 13, 14, 12, 10, 8. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, so I was like, wait, you're just counting down? Yep. Okay, <laughs> there it is. <laughs> So in other words, people don't really like you that much. They're not supposed to. Right? <laughs> True. We're including our racial bonus. True life. Yeah, for the total. totals, right? Oh. Total? Or no, 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 no. That's that's the that's, standard that's, race. Yeah, 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 no, no, no. Not, not counting that. Not counting kind of count as racial Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, so like, I put 15 ability score into strength, but I have a plus one racial bonus. So you're 16. So, so 16. 16. Yeah, oh, yeah, but that's yeah. not what you did. No, I don't care about that. Oh, okay. I, just, I just want to put that in there so you guys know like what the what's added to it. I just want to know like what the... Other cow, yeah, the other column is. Uh, Becca, you ready to go? Yes. Okay. I'm doing the standard array. Okay. And my ability scores are. I'm just gonna read down the column. 14. Sure. Let me just clear them out real quick. Okay. 14 for strength. 14. 15 for dexterity. Okay. 13 for constitution. Okay. 12 for intelligence. Okay. 10 for wisdom. Yep. Yeah. 8 for charisma. Okay. I got a little con. I don't think I want to. So basically, do that. you guys are very close to each other. You're just a little quicker. He's just a little stronger. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. And no one likes us. Yeah. Uh, Kelsey, you can do the standard array. People, or people like me, I'll make up for it. Standard. Okay. Let me just clear them out real quick. Then. Yes, I go. You're yeah. making the op the opposite of real life. Yeah. Okay. Uh, bummer. I'm sad about this, but I had to do it. I can't have a low con. Go for it. Uh, 13, 10, 15, 8, 12, 14. Everybody loves you, huh? Uh, well, I rolled on most of it, but then I realized my con was really low, and I was like, Ugh. "You gonna die if it is?" Yeah. Um, I would recommend your dexterity being much higher. My dexterity? Oh yeah, that should be your highest stat. That's it's max it. Yeah. Max it. Mm -hmm. Ugh. Okay. Hold on, I'm redoing it. Okay. Yeah. But I want my con to be high. Okay, so dexterity is 15. You don't gotta be. Take away, well, you need some strength. Take away your wisdom. <laughs> you're a double you don't have to be strong, you know. I got a plus yeah, two to your wisdom. Honestly, you're um, an assassin. You don't good. have to be strong. You just have to be sneaky. Yeah. yeah. You got the dexterous. So what, you don't need much charisma, yeah. to be honest. Yeah, you're Someone an has to be talk. Oh, you need to be intelligent. Do you need to be wisdom? You know? You, have, you already have a, so take away the intelligence. You can be a, a, a dumb, you can be a uh, sticky bandits. Dumb it can be a C plus, you know. Average stupid. <laughs> C is still a pass, man. Okay, okay, I redid it already. Okay. Still 13 strength. Yep. 15. Mm -hmm. 14. Mm -hmm. 8. Uh, yep. 10. Yep. 12. 
All right. Big dum dum over here. Big dum dum. <laughs> Being a smart man, kill people. I'll convince her to go kill people. <laughs> my All right. All right. Now, backgrounds. So I mentioned it before. So what 5e does is it puts a little more role play into your character. They're not just a warlock. They're not just, you know, this. They're not just that. Um, they have some personality to them. Where they come from? Where they raised? Why are they here? So who's got the backgrounds ready? I do. Pretty much. Okay. Uh, Let's we'll start over here. Then Kelsey, go around the horn. I am the haunted one. You're a haunted one. You're haunted by something. Actually, you can keep that secret if you want. That's fine. Well, I don't know what it is. I figured it would be something that you would... Outlander! Sorry. I'll figure it out. <laughs> um, so if you got a good Scottish accent. Outlander! Oh, actually, that kind of fits um, with you. That's fine. I'll, I'll let you know, yeah. Okay. Right. Well, I just figured it would be one of those things that I find. What's the... Uh... Hey, Scott. Yeah, what's what's the, like, the shadow entity that's like on Pandora? The... Uh... Shadow the Shaw. Devil. The Shaw. Yeah, I was saying Ka, but that's not right. Okay. The Shaw. The Shaw haunts you. Which but, one? There's seven. Oh, yeah, the third one of those out. Yeah. yeah. They um, represent the seven deadly sins. Well, I could have <clears throat> several things. The Shaw's in the room. Mm-hmm. No, not the... Okay. I thought maybe something from my past that either I Shaw's did or occurred to me. Or ha- oh, are much other. to me. Um, okay, so Kelsey. Hmm. Let's go knock this out. You get two more proficiencies and skills. Jesus Christ, you get Woo-hoo! some shit. Are you ready? Yes. Uh, choose between acrobatics, animal handling, I think this is arcana, <laughs> history, intimidation, investigation, medicine, nature, perception, performance, persuasion, religion, stealth, survival. Of those, choose two. Stealth. Okay. And bless, bless you. Medicine. Medicine was on there, right? Yep. All right. Languages. Uh, I'm gonna go. You are on the alliance. I, I, I recommend. Panda. I recommend dwarvish then. Just dwarvish. That we Is there a spot for languages? Uh, Outlander. Probably not. That's okay. I oh, put it all in here. That's fine. Outlander. Um. Out. Yeah, Abyssal, celestial, deep here. speech, draconic. Okay. Dwarvish, Gnomish, Goblin, Halfling. Let's ignore Halfling. How many languages I do gnomish. I get? You get two. Infernal, Orc, Primordial, Sylvan, and Undercommon. Sylvan, I believe, is like the oh, be uh, Elven tongue. Could so be wrong. I got though. Dwarf. You said, yeah, I want Hunter Dwarf. One. Probably Dwarf Gnome. And whatever. How many are they? There's a lot. You're a Dwarf. Whatever the it's not 16, right. Whatever cool. the sixth one is. Goblin. And I know goblin, guys. Boom. Yes. Boom. Jesus Christ. All right. <laughs> Still getting there. Ready? The dice. <laughs> so now, uh, tied into your background is that there's some flavor to it. There's some suggested characteristics for your character. So, for instance, we're going to go through her flaws. Oh, yeah. Um, so, of these, I'm just going to read them off. Let me know what you How like. do I pick? You pick one. One. Yes. Um, I have certain rituals that I must follow every day. I can never break them. I'm an OCD bear. I assume the worst in people. I feel no compassion for the dead. They're the lucky ones. I have an addiction. Holy shit. I am purveyor of doom and gloom who lives in a world without hope. I like this one. I talk to spirits that no one else can see. (laughs) I talk to spirits that no one else can see. Because you're haunted. Because I'm haunted. Right? (laughs) Yeah, that's some so, dark shit right I'll there. Put that in there. All right, ideals. Okay. None. I try to help those in need, <laughs> no matter what the personal cost. I'll stop the spirits that haunt me or die trying. I kill monsters to make the world a safer place and to exercise my own demons. I have a dark calling yeah. that puts me above the law. I like to know my enemies' capabilities and weaknesses before rushing into battle. I'm not smart enough for that. I'm a monster that destroys other monsters and anything you else that gets in my way. You can be my assassin. I, I give you the contact. Either two or three. Um... Three. I kill monsters to make the world a safer place. Oh, that's cute. But you're an assassin, so you... Sweet assassin candy you want. Bonds. I really want my flaws to be young women. <laughs> I keep my thoughts and discoveries in a journal. My journal is my legacy. I would sacrifice my life and my soul to protect the innocent. My torment drove away the person I love. I strive to win back the love I lost. 
A terrible guilt consumes me. I hope that I can find out like that my actions. <laughs> there's guilt. evil. Yeah, there's evil in me. I can feel it Ooh. and must never be set free. I, I have a child to protect. I must make the world a safer place for him. Uh, baby, baby panda. Baby panda. Oh my god. It's not there's even China. There's evil in me. There's evil in me. I can feel it. I must be set. Never be set free. This is like a dark bear, man. Yeah, your bear is like complex. <laughs> shit. Most of the pandas really just like to drink. Right. Personality traits. Yeah, they just drink those feelings away. Mm-hmm. Uh, personality traits. I don't run from evil. Evil runs from me. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. Just pick that one. I like to read and mem- uh, memorize poetry. It keeps me calm and brings me fleeting moments of happiness. <laughs> there you go. I like that. I spend money freely and live life to the fullest, knowing that tomorrow I might die. I live for the thrill of the hunt. I don't talk about the thing that torments me. I rather not burden others with my curse. I expect danger around every corner. I refuse to become a victim, and I will not allow others to be victimized. I put no trust in divine beings. I'm a poet. And you didn't you know, know it. it. Hey. Oh. You like to read and memorize poetry, Collins, you? I like to write it, too. Oh, dear, and okay. spontaneously say it when I'm stressed twisted. out. This oh. is an emo bear right now. <laughs> this is really, much really emo, emo bear. bear. Oh. <laughs> it's just a good eyeliner. Oh, I could have right, a lot let of. Let me just it. check. I try to do a quick. blood elf makeup today. Oh, nice. But now I'm a panda, so panda makeup it is. That's a lot we should get you a panda Just costume. I'm gonna Google panda <laughs> costume. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> well, for the other game, like we try to do some fun makeup, so I'm gonna maybe like eucalyptus color. Ooh, we should get <laughs> some bamboo, bamboo just... color. I like it. Oh, here you go. You can go to Target. <laughs> there <laughs> you. I was just clicking on the first one, but then they showed up. It's like sexy panda. <laughs> sexy panda, panda? Sexy well, panda I mean, showed like, up. Yeah. Uh, that's an actual Halloween costume. So choose two of those personality traits that I just read off. Choose two? Yeah. Poetry and something where the evil... Evil runs from you? No. The one where I, I don't burden others with my evil uh, or something. Yeah. But you write about it. If you're in your notebook. notebook. And then you spontaneously spout it. Your handy dandy notebook. In battle. I don't talk about the thing that torments me. I'd rather not burden others with my curse. Yeah. Okay. So you tell them your poetry right before you kill them. I like it. And, and they're like, they beg you to die. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. Please. Please. Poetry, please, please. Just kill me. Please, emo panda, kill me. Is that poetic joke or something? All right. Next up, Becca. Um, I'm going to go with urchin background. All right. Urchin. Ooh. Sounds Good dirty. Choice. A uh, little, uh, these poor night little poppers walk around the street. Night elf grew up on the streets. <laughs> um, all right, choose two uh, skills. I'm going to read them off real quick again. Animal handling, arcana, athletics, deception, history, insight, intimidation, investigation, medicine, nature, performance, persuasion, religion, sleight of hand, survival. You can choose two of those. Um, Losing my athletics. Energy. Check. Acrobats would be cool. Just doing backflips over the place. Mm-hmm. Parkour. Parkour. Athletics. She's an urchin. She knows parkour. Athletics and survival, I guess. Okay. Ooh, good. Not a bad one. Uh, I was going to choose two tool proficiencies. So it's the same list I read you before. There might be a couple extra ones in there. So you did alchemy. In addition to my alchemy tools? Yep. Okay. That's cool. So if you have like an instrument you wanted to learn. Um, Did you already have an instrument? Oh, it was alchemy. So oh. I mean, street performers need... There's also like playing card money. sets. Um, three dragon anti-set. Basically like gambling stuff. Can you get a gambling? We're going to need some money. <laughs> Dice set. Do you remember the list from before? Vaguely. Not particularly, but is there anything that has to do with metals? Because that's kind of her big thing. Uh, Smith's tools. Smith's tools. Smith. You, she needs another one, right? Yeah. Wesson. You should definitely. I don't know. Wesson tools, like Smith's tools. Yeah. <laughs> Cobble. Oh, let's see. Cobble, I need to shoot. Dice set. Let's run through them. Bagpipes, brewer supplies, calligrapher supplies, carpenter's tools, cartographer's tools, cobbler's tools, cook's utensils, dice set. tools might work because she can throw them. We'll do carpenter's tools. Oh, fine. She can push all Sorry. the way. No, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want you to go through the whole list. All right. Start to stop at C. Here we go. 
Um, suggested characteristics. Your flaw. And I have to pick one? Yep. Young women. So you can always, if you don't like any of them, you can always decide on something else. Uh, something you're over. Don't be an um, old alien. <laughs> if I'm outnumbered, I will run away from a fight. Gold seems like a lot of money to me, and I don't do just about anything for more of it. Wow. I'll never fully trust anyone other than myself. Mm, that's very good. I'd rather kill someone in their sleep than fight fair. <laughs> it's not stealing if I need it more than someone else. I like that one. People who can't tear themselves get what they deserve. I'm between the never trusting and the stealing things. What do y'all think? You can always roll for it. Yeah. Roll. I think for Vin, it's more about never trusting anybody in the end. I'll never right. fully trust anyone other than myself. Yep. Mm-hmm. That's not an elf thing. Got, got team player over here. <laughs> she tries. She just doesn't actually believe they can do it. Um, okay, that's her flaw. If you guys want to write down like a characteristic, like what you guys look like, that's like your skin color, your hair, and stuff like that. I, I look like a panda. <laughs> Jordan and Jordan. <laughs> well, there's different fur black colors black. too. Like, um, um, a green black panda. Your, your ideals. <laughs> respect. Blue. All people rich or poor deserve respect. Yeah, I'm dark blue. Community. We live or we have to take care of each other because no one else is going to do it. Change. The low are, are lifted up and the high and mighty are brought down. Change is the nature of things. Retribution. The rich need to be shown what life and death are like in the garden. Retribution. People. I help the people who help me. That's what keeps us alive. No, retribution. Retribution. Aspiration. I'm going to prove that I'm worthy of a better life. Outlander. Sorry. Outlander. Outlander. Retribution. Retribution. (laughs) Take it. Take it. My shoes off. Just saying. Two personality traits you pick? Uh, Yeah, we'll get there. Uh, Bonds. My town or city is my home and I'll fight to defend it. I sponsor an orphanage to keep others from enduring what I was forced to endure. Mm. I owe my survival to another urchin who fought, who taught me to live on the streets. Ooh. I owe a debt I can never repay to the person who took pity on me. I like that one. Too. I escaped my life of poverty by robbing an important person, and I'm wanted for it. No one else should have to endure the hardships I've been through. I like where you owe somebody something, but... Yeah, because she owes Kelsey, right? I'm going to go with the, oh, I owe somebody. You owe a debt I can never repay? Yeah. Okay. And then from this list, choose two. I hide scraps of food and Trin gets away in my pockets. I ask a lot of questions. I like scraps to... Scraps of food and what in my pockets? Yeah, Trin gets like skinny and tall. <laughs> <laughs> I ask a lot of questions. I like to squeeze into small places where no one else can get go. to me. Yep, that's the one. Just stop there. That's what there's, you're There's one. Alright, let me write that one down. Personality trait. I like to squeeze into tiny places. Six, six. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I'm going to be 6'6". Six, six. I sleep with my back to a I wall or tree, six, with everything I own wrapped in a bundle in my arms. Yep. Yep. That's actually it. I eat like a pig. Yeah. I have bad manners. I think anyone who's nice to me is hiding evil intent. I, d- I don't like to bathe. <laughs> I bluntly say what other people are hinting at or hiding. Squeeze into a small ball in places and sleep in a bundle with back to a tree. You got it. Such a weirdo. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. She's an odd, odd lady. I haven't read those yet. Oh, you need to read that. Yeah. All right, Scott, you ready for yours? I need something. Yeah. Ready, ready to read. What background did you go with? It's difficult. Chowky. It's tough. Roll it. Roll it. Yeah. Scott, I think you should be an urban bounty hunter. It's actually one of the things I was thinking of. It'd be cool. I don't, come back. I don't like soldiers. I don't want to be. I don't want to be the perfect paladin because I'm just not. <laughs> I want you to I be think the we'll urban. Do, uh, mercenary veteran. Urban bounty. You I think we'll do. We'll do urban bounty. Why don't we do yes. urban bounty hunter? That's so there cool. we go. <clears throat> All right, Scott. Yep. Please choose two skill proficiencies, uh, basically from uh, any of them. Oh, really? I get to choose any of them now? There's a lot of them, so I'll just assume that. Well, all the other ones besides intimidate and persuade. Yeah, probably. Since I already... Yeah. Survival. Why don't we do... Perception. Will be... Why don't we... Just talk. We will do... DM gotta get it drunk. I want you to per- perceive. Right, why are you thinking think about it, Scott? People. Yeah, yeah. I'll think uh, about those. Yeah. Jordan, uh, what, what background do you want? I'm a with? sage. Sage? Oh, okay. I had that for you. Um, and the thing about two skill proficiencies as well, you'd like to. Nice. So not the ones I already picked up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't double stamp or triple stamp. <laughs> I want to, though. All right. So, oh, that's hard. Um, so any ones? Bait, probably. I'm just looking at lessons about, like, 
What's it say? 15 or so on there, so it's probably any of, the, any of those, yeah. Okay. Um, ooh, this is hard. Mm. Um, I didn't... Ex- I'm going to do... I'm ready if you want to think. Yeah, right. you did. Switch back to Scott. Yep. Tag team this. All right. Investigation. Yep. And survival. Check. All right. Uh, Scott, think about what tools you have to be proficient in. Remember the list that we've been reading off the back of. The entire list. Basically, like, right? would you like uh, like a musical instrument, some sort of uh, uh, crafting? I should probably uh, do smiths. Well, she already has smiths tools. That's okay, man. It's- but I, like, bagpipe skills. I want to be able to like fix my own armor. <laughs> You're a dwarf. Bagpipe skills. Oh man. Oh, brewer's tools. I'm a dwarf. That's mm-hmm. what I want. Brewer's tools. Brewer supply. Yes. That's it. Speaking of brewer's tools, <laughs> refill. Look at it, and oh you get to choose another one as well. Oh really? I get another one. Yeah. Um, what else is there? Um, you want to do a musical instrument, or you want to do more like, supply, like a tool or something like that? <laughs> musical instruments for a thousand, Alex. All right. Uh, for a thousand. Uh, this instrument is usually made out of pig intestine, and then no. Uh, bagpipes. Fuck, <laughs> uh, we'll do bagpipes. Yeah, like dice sets, flutes, lutes, lyres. I want to play the bagpipes. Bagpipes yeah, it is. I respect you so much. I don't so fucking know, man. I take beer and I play the bagpipes and I kick ass. That's so what he does. Dwarf. <laughs> yeah. dwarf. So he's an Irish dwarf. There we go. <laughs> okay. Electric class? Okay. Paladin. Uh, Jordan, we'll go ahead and switch back to you then. Investigation quick. and insight. Investigation check, insight check. Uh, you also get to choose two languages. Oh, <laughs> I don't know the languages. I know dwarfish and goblin. So um, you have like abyssal, That's... Uh, deep speech. Abyssal means oh. you can speak to demons. Deep speech probably means you can talk to the old gods. And the... I like deep, deep speech. Would probably be a good one. Deep yeah. speech would be good. That's awesome. Uh, draconic. Ooh, oh, right. that sounds good. Dwarfish, elvish, oh. giant, gnomish, goblin, uh, infernal. Ooh, so they'll, they'll be like the pit lords, kind of like the the hells. Well, not necessarily the big, big guys. Um, orc, primordial. What's uh, primordial? Gods. So deep speech and primordial. So, so they're probably more like the pantheon gods. I think like uh, Greece. So like Warcraft, I like, picks like from like everything. Okay. As well. Like yeah, yeah. like the creators, like the universe is, is like definitely like, Greek god or you know, all uh, right, Nordic expired where I get. Yeah. The old gods are very Cthulhu inspired. Yeah. What's uh, uh what's after Primordial? Anything? Sylvan, undercommon. Then you can talk to me. Uh, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I'm not ready. I think to I'm, I want to talk to all the gods. I'm gonna do Primordial, mm-hmm. deep speech and Primordial. You've been through a lot of shit. <laughs> I've been through it. I'm an old man too. All right, we'll go ahead and knock yours out while he's in the head. Um, okay, personal characteristics. Let's jump to flaws. Fantastic. I am easily distracted by the promise of information. Oh. Most people scream and run when they see a demon. I stop and take notes on its anatomy. Nice. <laughs> Unlocking an ancient mystery is worth the price of a civilization. Mm. I overlook obvious solutions in favor of complicated ones. I speak without really thinking through my words, invariably insulting others. I can't keep a secret to save my life or anyone else's. I'm going to go with the taking notes of the demon. Okay. Take notes of demon. And I'll, I'll print this all out for you guys as well. Uh, fancy in this. Um, your ideals. Mm-hmm. Knowledge. The path of power and self-improvement is through knowledge. Beauty. What is beautiful points us beyond itself towards what is true. Logic. Emotions must not cloud our logical thinking. No limits. Nothing should fetter the infinite possibility inherent in all existence. Oh. Power. Knowledge is the path of power and domination. Self-improvement. The goal of a life of study is the betterment of oneself. That's a tough one. I like that one. Mm. That's tough. (laughs) Yeah, right? I know. Um, What was the one before knowledge is power? It's the the no limits thing? No limits. Nothing should fetter the infinite possibility inherent in all existence. No limits. Just call me uh, Limitless. What is that? That's uh, Bradley Cooper. Bradley mm-hmm. Cooper. Thank you. Was that him? <laughs> yeah, in the movie. With a drug, right? Yeah. Bonds. It is my duty to protect my students. 
I have an ancient text that holds terrible secrets that must that must mm. not fall into the wrong hands. Like I work to preserve a library, university, scriptorium, or monastery. Meh. Yeah, right, boring. My life's work is a series of tomes related to a specific field of lore. I have been searching my whole life for the answer to a certain question. I sold my soul for knowledge. I hope to get I hope to do great deeds and win it, and win it back. Mm. The tomb of ancient knowledge that I have to keep. I have an ancient text that holds terrible secrets that must not fall into the wrong hands. You got it. Okay. That's only when I'm uh, taking a plane, though. Here you go. Personality traits. You get to choose two of these. I use polysyllabic words that convey the impre impression of great erudition. <laughs> erudition? Uh, I use big words to sound smart. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Let's dumb that so down. Pretty much that's, yeah, right. that's our whole lives, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I've read every book in the world's greatest libraries, or I like to boast that I have. I'm used to helping out those who aren't as smart as I am, and I patiently explain anything and everything to others. We're going to have to explain things. There's nothing I like yes. more than a good mystery. I'm willing to listen to every side of an argument before I make my own judgment. Probably not. I speak slowly when talking to idiots, which almost everyone is compared to me. Damn. I am horribly, horribly awkward in social situations. I <laughs> love it. Do I'm it. convinced that people are always trying to steal my secrets. What was the second one? Uh, I've read every book in the world's greatest yeah. library. You've read that Murray Nagel eight mm -hmm. times. Or right. I like the books that I have. I read every book. And you have to choose another one as well. Oh, I get to choose two. Two of them, yeah. Um, there was the one where uh, the they help other people. Ones. What was that one? I'm used to helping uh, out those who aren't as smart as I am and yeah, patiently yeah. explain anything and everything to others. Oh. Help dum dums. Help dum dums. Help dum dums. Help me. Help. <laughs> yeah, right. You have to talk slowly to Kelsey's kid. Help. Now, what we're going to do here oh, is kill no. that kill, kill, mother kill. trucker. <laughs> Sneak in. in. Sneak in. Hiding. Kill him. Take this thing, open door. Go inside quietly. Stab, stab, stab. Stab, stab, stab. Run, run, run. 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 Stab, stab, run, run. Take gold. Got it. Scott. Yo. You ready? Uh, probably not. Here we go. Personality characteristics. Uh, here we go. <clears throat> Your flaws. Oh. Hey, pick one flaw. Flaw. When I see something invaluable, or something is valuable, I can't think about anything but how to steal it. Mm. When faced with a choice between money and my friends, I usually choose the money. Mm. If there's a plan, I'll forget it. Yeah. If I don't forget it, I'll ignore it. I have a tell that reveals when I'm lying. I turn tail and run when things look bad. An innocent person is in prison for a crime that I committed. I'm okay with that. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> What's the one with the... The one with that, if there's a plan, I'll forget it. And if yeah, I know I what it is, I do what I want. Yeah. If there's a plan, I'll forget it. If I don't forget it, I'll ignore it. That's the one. <laughs> okay. I like that. <laughs> That's good. So, while we're on this, there's a system in this game called Inspiration, which I can reward you guys with. Uh, basically, if you roleplay a character well, I usually love favoring like, the flaws because it's easy to play a character as like a god. Like when, like, you know, when you actually play your character not necessarily to win the game. It's fun, and then I'll give you inspiration, which gives you a bonus roll, basically, down the line. Fuck yeah, it does. If I show up in a mist club next time, <laughs> do I get points? That's oh, so yeah. Cool. We're going to have to have some... How far are you in mist club, by the way? I finished. Which, which trilogy? Uh, all of them. Okay. Out. So you're up to the... You're waiting for the third Wax and Wayne book. Well, <clears throat> fourth Wax and Wayne book, like I am. I just read Arcane and Rebounded, but I hadn't read Elantris yet. Did so you just read the secret history of... Just or whatever it's called. Yes, it's so weird. The Kelsier one? Yeah. Oh, it makes everything make so much sense. Yeah. There's a whole it's other kind of realm of nerd that I have no idea. Yeah, I did never ask. Sorry. It's perpetual. But Scott, ready for your, your ideals? Uh, <clears throat> None. <laughs> Honor. <laughs> Honor. I don't steal from others in the trade. Freedom. Chains are meant to be broken are as those who would forge them. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, chains oh, are meant to be broken, as well as those who would forge them. Ah, okay. Yeah, I had to worry that a little bit. So, I free people and then kill the people who keep them. Yeah. Nice. Okay, next. Charity. I steal nope. from the wealthy so next. that I can no. help out. Yeah. I'm not robbing them. Uh, greed. I will do whatever it takes to become wealthy. I like chain stuff. People. I'm loyal to my friends, not to any mm -hmm. ideals, no, and no, everyone else can dragons. take a trip down the sticks for all I care. I like care. people. 
Redemption. No, I, just, I like my friends. I hate everyone else pretty much. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Uh, Re- yeah. Redemption. There's a spark of good in everyone. Nope. Uh, let's go with uh, the friends one. The people, I'm loyal to my friends, French. not to ideals, and yeah. everyone else can take it. Yeah. Suck it. Heart my friends, fuck my all My ideals y'all. is there's no limits. That's literally what I'm writing on my no ideals. Limits. Heart my friends, fuck Everything's all Everything's limitless. <laughs> Scott, you're limitless. limitless. Your bonds. What binds you? <laughs> I'm trying to pay <laughs> off an old <laughs> debt. Fuzzy handcuffs. Fuzzy handcuffs. Fuzzy handcuffs. It's a go-to. Let's go. Oh, sorry, that's not on there. <laughs> I'm trying to pay off an old debt I owe to a generous benefactor. No. My ill-gotten gains go to support my family. No. Something important was taken from me, and I aim to steal it back. It's still great. Mm. I will become the greatest thief that ever lived. Mm. Maybe not thief. We're going to replace that. Oh, like really a fucking thief. Can right? we say, like, a uh, hunter, bounty hunter, or fighter? The greatest. Or, yeah, say someone like, can I, can't, like, someone killed my family, and I'm trying to kill bounties to, like, kill them? Uh, yeah, here we go. Ready? Uh, well, the next two. Uh, I'm guilty of a terrible crime. I hope I can redeem myself for no, it. No, not that one. I'm and sure. someone I love died because of a mistake I made. Yep. That will never happen again. That's Bonds. Yeah. It was my daughter. Mistakes were made. <laughs> All right, personality traits. Choose two of these. Okay. I always have a plan for what to do when things go wrong. No. I am always calm no matter what the situation. Mm. I never raise my voice or let my emotions control me. Yeah, okay. I don't think that's going to be it. Uh, number three. The first thing I do in a place is note the locations of everything valuable or yeah. where such things could be hidden. I would rather make a new friend than a new enemy. Yeah. I am incredibly slow to trust. Those who seem the fairest often have the most to hide. Let's see, that's one of my slow to trust. Okay, slow to trust. None of us are gonna get along, right? Yeah. <laughs> what are you talking about? I, I, I speak down to you guys, and I've read every book. <laughs> You're a dick. Yeah. Um, my charisma is seventeen, though. Oh, I love. So that. I know how to motivate you guys. <laughs> I don't pay attention to the risks in the situation. Yep, that one. Never tell me the odds. Never tell me the odds. The best way to get to me or get me to do something is to tell me I can't do it. Ooh. I blow up at the slightest insult. Scott, you might want to gonna. Change. I'm going to be slow to trust and never tell me the odds. Actually, no, fuck that. I'm going to be never tell me the odds and I blow up a lot. Okay. Never tell me the odds. Star Wars? Yeah, Solo. Yeah, Han Solo. Han Solo. Okay. Yeah, because C3B is like, there's a 1.24. Never tell me the odds. <laughs> never tell me the odds. And then they steal that line in the new one. Yeah. Nice. In Rogue One. Oh, when is the Han Solo movie coming out? Uh, next year. This next December year. is part eight. That's going to be eight. eight. It's not going to I'm on research. I'm on... So am I. It means we do nothing. Damn boy. Well, no, <laughs> well, I do Well, we sit, we sit in the lab. I make bacteria die. I see, I see you guys... I see you guys when I walk to and from my lab. I make yeah. bio... Yeah. I make biofilms and then I have it die. Or it doesn't die. All right. I kill, uh, I kill small animals. True. So everyone... There should be uh, do do that. two D100s in there. Uh, there's going to be... Oh, there's going to be a D10. It's going to count from uh, 0 to 9. And there's going to be one that's going to count from double zero to 90. I got the... Oh, my... Okay, there should be one of each in there. I got it. Actually, actually two of each in there. What's the... Uh, They're okay. both technically D10s. Just one has the, the 10 digit spot for it. Okay. Yeah, they are the same shape. I got them. Okay. I got a hundred on everything. <laughs> so what's gonna happen is there is a yeah, trinket table, oh, and I'm gonna, you're gonna have like this random item basically assigned to you, and you're gonna have to kind of work that into your character somehow. So let's go around the table. Jordy, you wanna kick it off? All right, I'm just rolling both. Yep. Then you're gonna read me. Uh, so the ten digits be the seventy-eight and eight. Seventy-eight. Eight. Yeah. So this goes up to a hundred. So that's why it's. God, I, hope you have like a, a, I thought you had like a shrunken head. An item. An ornate scabbard that fits no blade you have found so far. Ooh. Mm. That's in weapons? Um, or miscellaneous, that's fine. Miscellaneous, that's ornate yes. weapon. Ornate scabbard, sorry. Uh, let me go ahead. I think I can add that to You're always looking for possessions. Weapons. That's what she said. <laughs> Glass slipper. Man, I could go for some Hattie's Scott, chicken. Scott, roll for it. <laughs> sure. Mm, 73. 73, wow, next to each other. As always. The shell <laughs> of an egg painted with scenes of human misery and disturbing detail. <laughs> yes! <laughs> so, what? What Weird <laughs> ass egg shell. Can you drink your beer out of your egg shell? Oh, <laughs> oh my god, that'd be awesome. <laughs> like, Don't cheers Weird to ass egg shell. Um, Becca. I like mine better, Scott. I know. 56. I like my weird ass egg shell. 56. An old key. 
Ooh. She just walks around. Does she wear it around her neck? Has she figured it out what it uses yet? No. Maybe it opens the lock to the most precious treasure in the kingdom. Kelsey. 96. No one, no one. 96. I got you. It's no. a Robin Hood men in tights. Hell yeah, it is. Yeah. Call the locks, man. You Call have a Does black it? pirate flag adorned with a dragon skull and crossbones. Oh, yes. oh. Ours suck. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Mine's pretty neat. Shut up. Yours sucks too. She has a key and she has a dragon. I'm going to find what fits in it. You get an egg. I got a chill. Yeah, but there's scenes of you in misery on it. <laughs> that should be yours, Evo. Reminds, so, yeah, reminds somebody had a whole Easter. It yeah, yeah, right? yeah. reminds me of the manga uh, Berserk. Mm. Oh, yeah, the Golden Egg Arc. Yeah, they have the, yeah. They have the little, what do you call it, a set? I don't know. I know what you're talking about. Hmm. That's it. Character That's us made. creating characters. What about my weapons and armor? Uh, oh, yeah, I'm going to go and jump on that. Uh, they did pre- Got Actually, that we can always change that out. Uh, let's go ahead and start from the left now. Kelsey, what kind of weapons would you like? Sharp cut. It's stabby. I get to just stabby. choose? Daggers would be amazing. Daggers are good. If you're a um, I can actually go... So, uh, into, maybe like a here. Rap- short sword, um, rapier. Short, short sword, sword and a dagger. Be- what about rapiers? Ready? Choose between a rapier Should or a short sword. I want dual wielding short swords. <laughs> dual wielding short swords, check. Okay. Thunder Fury. What's his sword arm? Secret. Um, a short bow and a quiver of 20 arrows. Actually, no, you chose a second Wait. short sword. Ooh, am I still choosing? No, you're done. Okay. You're done. You no, you're still choosing. Oh, uh, yeah? Hey, yeah. You, so you, you could have got a bow, but you so said you got two sword. short swords. Yeah. Um, a burglar's pack, a dungeoneer's pack, or an explorer's pack. I like burglar. Think about... Burglar. Burglar. Hamburglar's pack. Hamburglar. Cool. I'm going to remove that. Every and, yeah, exactly. I mean, a pen of adult swords. It's pretty, and, it's and, and you burgle. And I burgle yeah, things. Burgle. burgle bear. As long as you don't trip. <laughs> uh, are uh, one of us going to get a murloc pet? Because I want one. A, you also get leather armor, two daggers, and thieves tools. Hmm. Leather armor. Two daggers. I got a lot of shit. <laughs> and thieves tools. Becca! Yes. Equipment. You actually don't get a lot because you're a mom. Oh. Yeah, you're um, a choose between a man. short sword or, or, a staff. Sim- or a simple weapon. Let me, I can go ahead and pull those up. A three. simple weapon. You need a staff. Can she have a coin as her weapon? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's what you um, the book. Come on! <laughs> I didn't read it. Anything metal really works. Staff. Um, but you can choose between like a, what did I say, a short sword or metal rock. A short sword, um, a club, a hand axe, a javelin, a light hammer, a mace, a quarter staff, a short bow, a sickle, a sling, a spare. Spear, probably. What the hell is an ikla? Y K L. Could it be a metal quarter staff? <laughs> metal metal ends on the staff. <laughs> I mean, a staff well, would be spear. good too. A spear? Yeah, because spears are metal, usually, right? Simple melee yeah, weapon? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, a spear. Here, let me add that to you. Spear. Check. Inventory. Wielded. Okay. Um, you also get to choose a Dungeoneer's pack or an Explorer's pack. So they might like world traveling, Explorer's pack, or Dungeoneering, like I'm going to... Diving in some caves and stuff. In the city, because I'm a dungeon. Um, right. Explorer's pack, I guess? Okay. I know. Okay. And you also get 10 darts. Cool. Oh. Throw people. You get a little blower? Are they, Are they, they metal? Sure, yeah, they could be metal. <laughs> like, otherwise, they're no good. All right, Scott. Yo, here we go. Do I get any armor? Or my hand? Nah, you're, 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 you're a monkey. You wear ropes. I get a yeah, is, do what ropes. you want. Ropes. Uh, Scott, you can choose between a martial weapon and a shield, or two martial weapons. I actually have... This might be easier for you guys. I'd like to have a martial weapon and a shield. Mace? If I'm alive. Oh, actually, I can, can, like, can I have a mace and a shield? Or like a morning star? Oh, it's morning. called that. Uh, martial melee weapons. You have a battle axe. Um, let me make sure they are... Battle axes are battle ass. <laughs> that was a stretch, man. So you want you want a, like a a morning star? Yeah, and a shield. 
Is that a mace? A morning star? Kind of. Like, shorter. Yeah. I don't know. Or doesn't it have shorter. a chain? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So it doesn't make, well, mace doesn't have to have this chain. You sure can have a morning star. Damn right. And a shield. And a shield. Add to that. Let's go ahead and equip that for you. And the shield's equipped as well. Okay. Check okay. and check. Cool. Um, next up, you get armor? to decide. Wait. Do uh, you want five javelins or a simple melee weapon? Simple melee weapon. Okay. For simple melee weapons. None of us. That'd be like a, a club, a dagger, great club. It's fantastic. It's the best. A club. Great Hand jab. axe. The javelin. <laughs> Why would they make me decide between five a, javelins and one <laughs> javelin? A light hammer. Ooh. A mace. Not a hammer. Light hammer. Light hammer? Okay. Light hammer. Okay. Like it shoots light? No, light as like. Or it's little, so it is it's light. It's littler. I can just throw it at people. people. Yeah. It's like a ball. Can ball peen. how to like. Ball peen hair. Yeah, the hammer mm-hmm. thing's in people, short. Though. Yeah. And. I mean, hit anybody in the right spot. It mm, can. Here we go. Um. You can also choose a priest's pack or an explorer's pack. Ah. Explorer's pack. We need a priest, son. Fuck that, man. You need okay. Jesus. Okay. And we are in the south. Word. You also get chain mail and a holy symbol. Oh. Chain mail? Mm-hmm. Your holy symbol. You're a paladin, dude. Yeah, you should be playing. Oh, there it is. Okay. Chain mail's not bad. I'm thinking Diablo 1, of course. Probably upgrade your armor later. God, I missed it. Jordan, they were good, man. There we go. Let me just go ahead and drop a couple of these. You're a sorcerer or a warlock? I am a warlock extraordinaire. There's actually more stuff. We'll go over spells, too. Yeah. Yes. Um, Okay, let's just knock this out real quick. Uh, Sorry, Clement. You can choose a light crossbow or a simple weapon. Simple weapon. What do we got there? Uh, so that'd be why I just listed off there. So you're, uh, you can actually, I think you can do range as well. You don't want to stab. Any simple weapon. So you I have like a boomerang, stand. club, crossbow, dagger, dart, great club, hand axe, javelin, light hammer, mace, quarter staff, short bow, sickle, sling, spear, sickle, ikla. I'm thinking sickle. A sickle. That's like sickle. Sickle. <laughs> Item, sickle. Don't fuck around with the guy walk around with a sickle, I'll tell you what. It's either harvesting souls or wheat. Right? <laughs> or both. Um, so for this one, a component pouch or an arcane focus? So they're both basically the same as far as gameplay-wise. Component pouch would be more like, I have a pouch full of just random items. Uh, mm-hmm. Arcane focus would be like something like the god gave you to, to like manifest your spells from. Let's go... Ooh. Like, That's tough. The scabbers could be like your arcane focus or something like that. Some sort of personal item that like basically yeah, gods yeah. have empowered. Yeah, let's put the arcane focus, I guess. Okay. Put that in. That's my arcane focus, sorry. <laughs> Going off. Sorry about that. <laughs> I can't control it very much. Very well. <laughs> Okay, arcane focus check. Oh, okay. Uh, would you like to have be a crystal, an orb, a rod, a staff, or a wand? I just, I mean, thematically, that's all it is. It doesn't staff. offer much. Could I put the orb on my sickle? Sure. Even mm, at the top. Fancy. Yeah. Or even like at the down at the handle. I think it near the blade. Oh, you could hold it around your the orb so people don't see that there. And then you're like, <laughs> So I got an orb now too. Okay. Orb. Yeah. So that, that's your uh, arcane focus is the orb. Yeah. Um, you can get a scholar's pack or a dungeoneer's pack. Scholars. Yeah, that's what I was thinking for you. Okay. Um, What's your character's name? <laughs> you also get leather armor. Oh, I like it. Two daggers. And you get another simple weapon. Really? Yep. You're just awesome. packing heat over there. <laughs> Let me get a, a quarter staff. Check. 
in case I want to put the sickle away. The sickle is the one I want to fuck people up. Yeah, the other ones you just carry around. So the other one I walk around so people aren't scared. Then pull my orb, and from the orb comes my sickle, and I fuck you up. <laughs> I like that I have leather armor. That's pretty legit. What's your armor? A I'm just robe. <laughs> Sorry. She no. just walks around naked. Yeah. So <laughs> she does get a dexterity up. bonus though, and she has mm. unarmored armor. Um, oh yeah, you no, know, because monks are tough. Yeah. Right? Scott, you don't get any spells yet. I don't need them. Sorry. Um. Sorry, bro. But Jordan, you do. Yes. Um, I want I want Stonehenge. I want Wild right? Charge. I'm gonna go ahead and remove these for right so, now. Bite, bite, and my arm here is actually spears. <laughs> so you're a porcupine. <laughs> you get. I'm mean, gonna add Elders Blast is a great one. I mean, every war should have it. I, I'm, I'll print these out too for you. I'll give you like cards for them. Um, Elders Blast is basically a ranged spell, like a ranged. Thank God somebody can attack from far away. Right. We have javelin up there. Oh um, yeah, I'm up front. I'm gonna hit people. I'm shoot. a melee fighter. There's so many of them. From behind. Uh, thematically, what kind of like what kind of spells you want your character to like? Dark. I want ancient old stuff, arcane okay. like not you want, like necrotic, like death. You want like okay. lightning. You want fire. You want cold. Fire, you want definitely fire. Fire, death. Ice death blades. Fire. Not blades. So let's go elemental, I guess. Okay. Since I, I like the old gods and whatnot. All of a sudden, what? Cl- <laughs> There's no like arcane bolt and stuff like that. Or- I just want to go home and play World of Warcraft. Um, <laughs> right? We're gonna play. I know, but I still need some more to go and play World of Warcraft. Uh, Rich, uh, Witch Bolt is a pretty good one too. I'll throw that. It's, I'm it's Witch lightning, Bolt. but it's definitely. Um, so my question is, did they publish this? Now there before? is. So first level or? spells. I'll just run down a couple ones real quick. So um, mm-hmm. You can buff your armor, you. give you temporary hit points. Well, mm-hmm. All the stuff going on uh, is very like reminiscent. Armor again, Although increase your armor, it looks like. Uh, target takes. And that is Westeros, and that's SS. So basically, mm-hmm. you buff your armor, and if someone this hits you, they suffer damage. Or war mm-hmm. Charm person. Or, or, well, you can like trick, clear the mind. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Comprehend like, languages, the understand more. Dissonant ris- whispers, you so. you know, you cause whispers over some more distractions. How many uh, level I, ones do I get? Uh, you can choose the ones I'm reading right now. You choose two of these. Make it okay. Ten uh, nine, so. The one I'd already mm-hmm. was the yeah, which bolt. Like, yeah, it's definitely like, a good one. I'm not gonna. Um, write any, but well, actually, this should retreat. Um, when you cast a spell as a bonus action, like you can I dash. So what that means is you can run twice as far. Especially if I didn't know. If you don't know. Hellish rebuke. And even if I did, someone. How's that gonna play out though? If she can't have you. Still hot. Uh, you point your finger already. and the creature oh, that yeah. damaged you was yeah, momentarily surrounded by hellish fire. So basically it's a reaction. So if someone hits you, <laughs> like, oh, fuck you, you're going to cast a spell immediately right afterwards. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. And that's why it's so um, perfect. Like, hex. Don't care. It costs like hex on the guy. Uh, yeah. It deals kind of damage over time or it all right. we saw, decreases we, their we abilities. We saw full frontal Daenerys since he's back. Hideous laughter. I'm too famous now. Yeah. They just fuck around their head to hear laughter. It's just boobs, man. Get over it. A lot of dudes have them. It takes damage. So basically it's like mentally mess around with them. Yeah. Uh, mentally masturbate them? What do you illusory doing? script? You, know. you write, like, in a secret language on a piece of paper? Th- that sounds like the fucking uh, invisibility paper from Doctor Who. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Protection from evil say whatever good. it wants. <laughs> um, this says you're the queen of England. I got witch they, bolt already. They get protection from a, 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 a certain type of creature based off of, the, of what you, whoever you cast it on. Yeah. Uh, How many spells do you get? So basically, more. like they have disadvantage on attacks against that person. So like, I want to protect them against something. So you have a attacking one. I have two. I have Alger's Blast and Witch Bolt. Uh, and can, you you have su- can you summon shit? Un- unseen right servants. Uh, fine unseen servants. Yeah. So those are offensive? so yeah. So basically, it's like a manifestation of an invisible person that can do. So something. there's buff armor. There's hellish rebuke, which I like, which is they hit me and they catch on fire. Mm. And oh. I also like comprehend languages because I'm an old dude. Let me go with Hellish Rebuke, yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah. No, nah, man, because if you need Hellish Rebuke, I ain't doing my job. No, you're fine. That's so remember, this is, like, so there's no aggro, really. Uh, so remember, if, if the creatures are dumb, they're going to attack the person they see. But once you start facing, like, intelligent creatures, you know, they're like, wow, this dagger's like, not going to... My charisma's 17, you will all be in front of me. It's like, it's like man, he's just... I can't even hit this I can't guy. hit the shield. I'm going to attack the guy in the cloth armor back there with the sword. I got leather armor. Yeah, right? <laughs> um... 
Yeah. And you get one more cantrip. I'm just naked, so I'll just try. Cantrip. Um, yeah. So, so cantrip, so those, well, basically cantrips are level zero Tweet. spells. Yeah. Uh, so what they wanted to do, they, they wanted to make sure like that taunt. casters could do something to battle. Yeah. So you level one spells, so you can only cast up a certain amount of well, times. You know, yeah. Once you're done, you're done. Good. Okay, yeah, I know this is uh, Okay, yeah, so yeah. cantrips are like, so rather than like back in the days where it's like, oh, uh, a wizard casts all the spells, so now yeah, it's like you're trying to stab somebody. Yeah. Oh, shit. You have magic bolt all the time. You get to do can jam? Can jam, can jam all all day can can jam. every day. That's still my yard. Uh, I'll look it up. Can Why? Just leave it in your yard, man. So your yard's huge now. What do you think more defensive? You think more like AOE or you think more utility? Uh <laughs> so I can always say it. I feel like I should probably have a defense here. Well, I got hellish rebuke. rebuke. Uh, but you still get hit, right? What is what is, is there any simple attacks or utility for everybody to like get a bonus? Yeah, um, let me see here. For and that's much for cantrips. Um, you can throw a magic stone, which lights up the place. I guess we probably need mm-hmm. light. Mage hand. It's a visible hand that kind of by your. So if I just like a. A lever on the other side of the kick, like, you know. Is that like your pin uh, hand? Reverse, like that. You need to pull the lever, your mage hand. So, yeah, it's like I have a little. It's actually. Yeah. 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 Do that? Let's do mage hand. It can, I think it switches out, too. So, this is a permanent. Is it? It, I yeah. Have uh, is can, I, can I get more? That's it. Yeah. That's, can so I get more later? Yeah, yeah. I just love if you get more. So, you get two cantrips right now. Okay, so I have mage hand. Two level ones. All right, so I get another one. Just like that. I'll just blast as a cantrip. Okay. Mage hand is a cantrip. Uh, how much rebuke is your reactionary attack? And which bolt is a more powerful so attack? So Alger's Blast is my other... Yeah, Alger's Blast is your default attack, basically. Okay, but that, does, that doesn't... That counts towards my two cantrips. Yes. yes okay. Sir. Yeah. Gotcha. Basically, that's like standard for any uh, warlock. All right. Two attacks. One's lightning. Cool. Yeah, and let me see... Spells. Yep. Thank you. Yep. You know you will and, die, young Skywalker. So there's also little benefits too, uh, from your backgrounds and your in your personal classes or your, your races too. So I'm gonna go to the character sheets right now and explain them for everybody. And then I'll print them on out for everybody and then you can actually do, do you a quick little color battle. And eye color and stuff? Yeah, write that down for me and I'll put that in later. I just we're still gonna go on the table. It's fine. But yeah, uh, definitely. It's and then uh, I'll try to jump on Wildhead, I think, has like a little character like I made hers on there. It's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Nice. Cool. Alright. So, Kelsey. Yeah. Taller. She's really hot. Taller. Much taller. It's mochi. Uh, your speed is 30, by the way. Uh, as a Pandaren. Um, bouncy. bouncy. I, I am going to try to. That's really what it is. I do, I do need to bouncy. wrap that stuff in. I'm, like For inspiration, I think I'll. Once I know. Once, now that I know everyone's uh, races, uh, I might do like. As with your inspiration, you can do like a bonus cool effect for it. Um, but uh, with the classes that we had, to, or races we choose from, from D&D Beyond, this is one of your class benef- or race benefits here. You can cast Detect Magic in the sky self with this trait. Using okay. Wisdom as your spellcast and ability for them. Once you cast either spell, you can't cast again with, a, with its trait until you finish a short or a long rest. When you use this version of the sky self, you can see him up to three feet shorter than normal, allowing you to more easily blend in with humans and elves. Okay. Which ties into your role character perfectly. Hidden step. As a bonus action, you can magically turn invisible Double until step. the start of your next turn, or until you attack, make a damage roll, or force someone to make a saving throw. True. Okay, wait, wait, wait. wait. Hold on. Slow down. What is it? Called Hidden WD step. Fork. Hidden. I like it. Step. I can be invisible. As a bonus action. As a bonus action. Until the start of your next turn. Interesting. Or until you attack. Like bonus Make a damage roll, or force someone to make a saving throw. And I might adjust some of these because that seems a little overpowered. But it's alright. Then you'd be exactly like Blizzard and just nerf shit. Right, bring it down. Uh, you count as. Don't worry about this. Can carry capacity and stuff like that. You're fine. Uh, <coughs> you have the ability to communicate in a limited manner with beasts and plants. They can understand the meaning of your words, though you have no special ability to understand them in return. Well, that seems kind of useless. You have advantage on charisma checks you make to influence them. Okay. 
Hit points, you're all set there. Good. Proficiencies, we're good there. Expertise, you're set. Sneak attack. Don't care about sneak attack. Sneak attack. Sneak attack. You got 1d6 when someone else is... Basically, if you have advantage or oh, someone's like in range. Shannon's. Yeah, it's like Shannon. Yeah. Thieves can't. Um, so that's a, a hidden know. language amongst thieves. Thieves can. Oh, thieves <laughs> can. Can't. Uh, can't. Um, I think that's... It just go on keep dying, people. <laughs> um, for your background, you get the heart of darkness. Oh. Shit, son. Those, stuff. Yeah, right. Those who look into your eyes can see that you have faced unimaginable horror and that you are no stranger to darkness. Okay. Though they might fear you, commoners will extend you every courtesy and do their utmost to help you unless you have shown yourself to be a danger to them. They will even take up arms to fight alongside you should you find yourself facing an enemy alone. Nice. So I'll we'll say we'll charisma checks with advantage in certain situations for that. I look into their eyes and they are terrified. Basically. Pretty much. It's like, fuck, it's an emo panda. Okay, I think you're good. You're an then. Instagram model, too. It's um, Panda elephant. I just read that one. So. Becca? Yes. Racial traits. Um, oh, yeah. Fae ancestry. As a elf. Um, you have advantage on saving throws against being charmed, and magic can't punch you to sleep. Magic can't oh, I like sleep that one. Yeah. You can't be, well, you have advantage on being charmed. Yeah. So if, like, someone's trying to, like, persuade, like, magically, you know, take control so of your eyes. So your eye. persuasion will work on you? Maybe. You never know. Depends how you roll. Charismatic. Oh, oh so let's say, uh, so when I say advantage and disadvantage, so that means is normally you'd roll 1d20 to kind of check against something, right? With advantage and disadvantage, you roll two d20s. What? With advantage, you take the higher of the two. Disadvantage, you take the lower of the two. Mm. So whenever I say, like, oh, you have disadvantage on this roll, you roll two d20s, take the lower ones. So um, you need to know which is an advantage or which is a disadvantage. I'll let you know, more likely, it would be some sort of phrase mm. in there. Yeah. Uh, or, like, a skill would say that. Um, you have a trance ability. So that means is rather than sleep, you kind of meditate for four hours, and then you... you are awake for four hours, but you still kind of have to like, take it easy, though. So, so there's two. Yeah, yeah. So there's two types of rests in this game. There's short rest and there's long rest. Short rest is like, let's take an hour, let's kind of set up a little picnic and relax for a second. Long rest is like, I right, was called tonight, let's go to bed. Whereas like everybody else needs eight hours full of sleep. You're just like, I just need to take a four-hour, you know, meditation, and then I could go on watch four hours, something like that. But if you get like active during those four hours, then it doesn't count as a long rest. You still need to kind of take it easy. A Netflix kind of day. Netflix. <laughs> Netflix. Netflix. Uh, superior dark vision. Your dark vision has a radius of 120 feet, so you can see pretty well in the dark. All right. Lots of characters. Um, sunlight sensitivity. <laughs> That's we're, funny. We're going to adjust this a little bit, uh, but you don't like the sunlight. It gives a disadvantage no. on your perception checks. You don't say. And <laughs> it does say attack rolls, but though that's kind of like, well, I've never wrong place. So I'll adjust that. I, not attack. Let's, let's just do, uh, let's do ability checks in the sunlight for right now. Um, because if your character sucks in the sunlight, then it's like, well, it's never fighting the sun, then. It's good. Most raids are indoors anyway. Yeah, right? Yeah, in the dungeons. Dungeons and Dragons are going to take place in dungeons. Uh, oh, no, someone knocked down the... Dancing Light Cantrip. Can't what? Uh, it's, a, it's a spell, actually. Okay. But what's a cantrip? So a cantrip is like a say, thing like your very basic spell. Uh, it's, it's almost like right. uh, fire blast. Oh, no, a, no, like yeah, a, a infinite use of it. It doesn't yeah. cost any any kind of the one with like a three second cooldown. Yeah, basically, yeah, it's, it's, it's an action. Like you can do repeat it. it. Repeat, repeat. It doesn't take away from your spells. Yeah, you just keep using it over and over. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> At level three, you get other stuff. Yada yada yada. Um. And like I said, this is I'll be printing on your sheet too, just kind of give you a heads up. Uh, as a monk, your AC is 10, plus your dex 30 modifier, plus your wizard modifier, don't worry about it. It'll, it'll make a calculator for you, just let you know that. What's AC? Uh, armor class. So basically, armor class is how easy it is for a creature to attack you. Whereas, like, uh, someone like Scott relies on the heavy chainmail to kind of protect him, you're very more mental quickness dodge out of the way. You can find them so you're unarmed or on the other way. Yada yada yada. Yeah, okay. This will be all explained too. There's some uh, attacks that'll be explained in the 
God, I hope we have to get fight sheet. Hogger. Oh, the skir- Hogger's the skirt of Elwyn Forest. Nice. <laughs> so, so coming into this, I wasn't sure what way you guys are going to go. Mm-hmm. So I just prepared like a generic battle. Uh, but we'll get to that here in a second. I just want to kind of brief everybody That's on fine. this. Uh, and then we'll take a quick break as we reset, and then I'll set up the little battle map for us, and then we'll actually see how the how works. How we do? Yep. How, did, how did we even meet each other? Um, as an urchin, yeah, we, you, meet each you know the secret yeah. patterns and flow to cities and can find passages through the urban sprawl that others would miss. Ooh, when you are not in combat, you and companions you lead can travel between any two locations in the city twice as fast as your speed would normally allow. Whoa! Does yeah. it count if there's enemies close by? <laughs> <laughs> you can't fast travel, it's just quick travel. It's oh, okay. need nerf plane shredder, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Okay. Scott, you ready? Uh, yes. As a dwarf, you have advantage on saving throws against poison. Mm-hmm. And you have resistance against poison damage. So resistance means you take half damage from it. So let's say oh, someone goodness. someone stabs like a poison dagger, right? I laugh at that. You, you roll, <laughs> you I first, know two languages. Yeah, you first roll to see if it takes effect. Mm-hmm. And if it does take effect, you take half the damage. So it's like, yeah, fuck it. How much it's like, push? whatever. We got this. Someone heal me later. I need some <clears throat> beer. Yeah, we don't have a healer, do we? Stone money. Eventually, I'll be able to heal. I'm Just a paladin. I should get something. Um, what, um, what? Stone money? Stone cunning. Whenever you make a history stone check cunning. related to the origin of stonework, you are considered proficient in the history skill. I like it. So in other words, so proficiency. Um, I didn't talk too much about this. This is going to be printed out on your sheet. Uh, basically, it's how long you've been using these abilities, how well trained you are in those abilities. I come from the dark place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So you'll, as you level up, you get higher proficiency, so more likely you are to... D2. To be, you know, succeed at them. So when I say your skills that you circled are proficient in, you're gonna add a profic- proficiency bonus to them. Right now it's just two. All right, cool. So I think it's better training. as you go. Uh, dark vision, superior dark vision. You can see out to oh, 120 yeah. feet. You can see out of your feet. Mm-hmm. Because they're big and hairy. Durgar, uh, aka Iron Dwarf res- Resilience. You have advantage on saving throws against illusions. And against being charmed or paralyzed. Oh, Damn it, I just want to charm you guys. Right? You can't, man. Don't worry. So, advantage <laughs> against illusions, <laughs> charms, or what? Paralyzed? Uh, illusions, charmed, and paralyzed. Yep. Nice. Uh, you get a, a, cool, a new spell at third level. We'll worry about that later. Sunlight sensitivity, same thing as her. Uh, <laughs> any kind of like perception, kind of like your eyesight in the sun, you're going to be not as good at. Which now worry about attack sucks. So I want you guys to be worthless out there. I hate sunlight. Yeah. Something Background. Mm-hmm. As an urban bounty hunter, you are in frequent contact with people in the segment of society that your chosen quarries move through. I hire you to get my Quarry. things that I need. These oh, people yeah. might be associated with the criminal underworld, the rough and tumble folk of the streets, or members of high society. This connection comes in the form of a contract, or in the form of a contact in any city you visit. A person That's who provides cool. information about the people and places in the local area. So you know people. Mm-hmm. That's nice. I've got friends in, in low, low places. places. All right, that's pretty cool. <laughs> and the bear chases. Does now you? As a uh, paladin, mm-hmm. you get divine sense. Once per long rest, so it's like once per day. Uh, you get the sense, the the presence of strong evil around you. Ooh. Actively, that's an active perception, or can I choose to not use it? Yeah, for a day yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. This comes back once a day. Sense brave evil. So the, they can't be behind total cover. Um, within sixty feet of you. Okay. That's less cool. You also, uh, so cool. the presence of like a, a also not just a person, like a place or object okay. that's been like consecrated, desecrated, you know, complete evil, in other words. You, you, can, you know where they are. Okay. Um, you also get lay on hands. Yes. Wait, lay on hands? Lay on hands. Yeah. Is, that, is that healing? As an action, you can touch a creature and draw power uh, from the pool uh, to restore a number of hit points oh, to yeah. that creature, up to the maximum amount remaining in your pool. I, yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, so I can just be like, it's okay, guys. You're all better. So you can cure multiple diseases and neutralize multiple poisons with a single use of lay on hands, expending hit points separately for each one. This feature has no effect on undead constructs, so 
Uh, with that pool, you can restore a total number of hit points equal to your paladin level, one times five. So five right now. So, so yeah, well, five I uses. I can be like, yeah. we each get one hit point. Yeah. Oh, okay. So you have five hit points to give. So this comes in handy when the person's knocked down. We'll talk about like battle situations like that. Um, so that's your, that's your abilities. I like them. Jordan's ability is peeing. Peeing. All the time. Pee, pee, pee. All the time. I'm going to pee. Actually, real quick. Uh, Kelsey, what's your character's name? Mochi. How do you Mochi. spell that? Like M- O with Chi at the end. M O C H I. Race, is that? Home? Just going to okay, sorry. M O C H I. You want like a little apostrophe in there or something like that? No, no, no. Mochi. Okay. Mochi. Now I got that shit in my head. Mochi Force. Becca, what's, huh? your, what's your character's name? Vin. V I N N. No, that's not going to drip that P on you. Drip, 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 drip. Oh my god. V I N N. V I N N. That was one N. Scott, what's your character's name? Uh, Thane Corthaz. I did the audiobook, so it's all how it's and spelled in my head. So it's a T H A N E yep. space K O R T H apostrophe A Z Z. Thane uh, Cortez. K O R T H. K O R T H apostrophe A Z Z. A Z Z. Thane Cortez. Thane Cortez. Alright, yeah. and. Cloud Lore Storm. Such right. a great name. No relation to Cloud Strike. <laughs> no. Never. Cloud <laughs> Lore Storm. Okay, and Jordan just uh, lets you know some of your abilities. Yes. Um, the Omni. Size, speed, dark vision. Omni Slash. <laughs> dark vision. Uh, Ooh, dark vision. You can Damn see in dim light within 60 feet of you as if it were a bright light. I can see light. dark and light. I hate okay. I, I can't see I anything. need to read at night, guys. Y'all you have resistance to necrotic damage and radiant damage. Resistance to necrotic. Sorry, I'm using it. Radiant damage. <laughs> healing hands. Ooh. Oh, I can heal hey, you. Hey, you're people. a DO, man. That's oh, perfect. Yeah. Healing hands. As an action, you can touch a creature and cause it to regain a number of hit points equal to your level. I can heal you guys for a minute. So one. One. <laughs> <laughs> once you use this trait, you can't use it again until you finish a long rest. So once per day, you can... Dang it. That's shitty. Once per day, you can heal someone one point. So if we can heal you can heal him and he can heal me and we'll all be fine. Like and I'm still dead. You know the light <laughs> of Sorry, sorry. Yes. And blind. Baby. What up, Can Jam? <laughs> light bear. Light cantrip. Language is a bonus score. Radio. Oh, I need light. Uh, you also get some at third level. We'll get there when we get there. Can I have dark vision glasses as a bear? This would look pretty <laughs> funny. Oh, you want my neck. You actually wear them, your sunglasses at night because you're drunk all the time as a panda. I don't know if I'm a girl or a boy yet. Spells not first of all. Okay. So I'll make sure I'm not free anything for you. Spell you catches are just like a completely different beast. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that one. On the right is the micro. Yeah. Ready for this one? Mm-hmm. You have an awakened mind. A waterfall? Yes, Starting sir, at first level, your alien knowledge gives you the ability to touch the minds of other there creatures. You can telepathically speak to any creature you can see within 30 feet of you. You don't need to share a language with the creature for it to understand your telepathic utterances, but the creature must be able to understand at least one language. Oh. Damn, man. I talk to everybody. <laughs> yeah, you're a people person. A people <laughs> so you got the healing hands, you got the radiant soul. Um, your background, you're a researcher. Was the Radiant Soul, what was that? Yeah, that was your, uh, Light oh, there. that's coming up at third level, sorry. Okay. Uh, no Radiance tease. for you. Such yeah. a tease. Yeah. We'll get yeah. there. Uh, as a researcher, when you attempt to learn or recall a piece of lore, if you do not know that information, you often know where and from whom you can obtain it. Usually this information comes from libraries, scriptorium, university, or a sage, or other learned person or creature. Your DM might rule that the knowledge you seek is secreted away in an almost inaccessible place or that it simply cannot be found. Unearthing the deepest secrets of the multiverse can require an adventure or even a whole campaign. So in other words, you're like, I need to find this out. And I'm mm-hmm. like, you need to go to here and here. Go ahead, Scott. Yeah, all right. Go for it, yourself. 
All right, character is good, good, good. Uh, I'll leave out the character details for right now. We'll get to that. Okay. I'll fill those in for everybody. I feel like we're in a good place. And let me go print this stuff out. And let's go through like a mock battle real quick. What, what time is that, by the way? Uh, 2.56. Okay. We said 11 to 3, and when we started at 12. There we go. So we all know each other. One. So I'll, I'll set the True. stage. Um, so we have a Panda Rogue, Draenei Warlock. We have a Dwarf Paladin and a Dark Elf or Night Elf uh, Monk. Yes. That's interesting. Okay. <laughs> Let's take a quick break while I piece this all together. I'll go and print these out for everybody, and I'll explain where everything is on the sheets, and then we'll uh, I'll set up the next battle map. So give us a uh, few minutes. We'll be right back. Bye. Break. Oh, you guys will still be on camera. I'm just not gonna be on camera right now. Bye. Oh. Let's make sure everything's safe. So how how is this battle happening? Why do we know each other? Yeah, that's, I say that's 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 for me. You know, well, that's you guys can think the, of something if you like. The newest, I, say, I hired you guys. The newest the newest season of Game of Thrones doesn't worry about shit like that. Yeah, yeah. it's like, hey, let's we just it. met. Let's all go on north Boom. of the wall and capture a white. Okay, great idea. Wee. Suicide Squad in the snow. Yeah, because you know, and apparently, apparently, when you no longer follow George R. R. Martin's books, you decide that you don't oh. remember what pacing is. Random. Oh, he have them yet. That's a kiss. Well, but uh, the thing now is you, you have to kind of, you wonder what parts they're putting in oh, yeah. are, because he told them the general plot points of the end of the books. I so you wonder, books that are out, and I'm you like, wonder what is. not even close anymore. No. Yeah, but some of those things, like, uh, s- spoilers, internet people, like, spoilers, the true identity of Jon Snow is real. Yeah. The Hodor thing is real. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so what hasn't happened yet, though? The Hodor thing? In the book. Yeah, but he knows what's going to okay. happen. Supposedly, George R.R. R. Martin knows what's going to happen. If you actually... If you if you're probably watching, books. if you're actually, uh, you know, writing anything, now you have to talk. Um, <laughs> yeah, he supposedly knows what's going to happen. And so, yeah, so some of the things that are happening are from him. I kind of want to go back and rewatch it. I feel like I have a different appreciation for it. Did you read the books? Mm-hmm. Sure. I read the books and then before this season we went back and rewatched them. I said one was like, oh, that's who that random fucker was. See, that's okay. the thing. You're like, you start watching <laughs> and you're like, the fuck? Who yeah. is this? Who is that? Why do you know each other? Yeah, but that's what made it good at the beginning. And now it's like, they're like, hey, we just met. Let's be BFFs. Woo! Or everybody's heard of <laughs> Nothing everyone else. And it's like, how do you hear about everybody else? Because Ravens. Fucking raven bullshit. Ravens. I feel like you... Send the raven! The Brotherhood Without Banners was not very well addressed in the series because I had no idea who they were they or what they were there for. They completely left most of that out. Yeah, because it made sense uh, in the books, but in the show, I was like, including oh. Lady Stoneheart, which would have yep. been really cool. We needed Lady Stoneheart. Cool. Especially if Littlefinger could now be Lord Stoneheart. No, Littlefinger's a dick. Unless they burned him. I hope not. I think they burned him. I hope they burned him. They better burn him. I hope they burned him. He's going to go deceive the Night King. Become the Night King. Yeah. That would be badass, actually. Really cool. <laughs> it's actually Littlefinger. Duh. I already have a dragon. And in the end, the winner of the Game of Thrones, we all know who wins the Game of Thrones, right? Nobody. No. Oh, Varys. I don't know. <laughs> Varys wins the Game of Thrones. Why? He's supposed to die. How do you know? The Red Lady told him. What's up? Well, I don't think so, but he's going to win the Game of Thrones first. She told him he was going to die. She's sick. Wait, he's she gonna also, she also said throw? that Stannis Baratheon was the was Azor Ahai reborn, and she was yeah. wrong, so I don't believe she. And she burned a little girl. Yeah, I don't so believe nice. a word she says. Wait, he's going to end up on the throne? Yeah. No, he, I don't even know if he's going to rule, but like he's going to win. Somehow he's going to win the Game of Thrones. Which means whoever he wants will be on. Yeah. Hmm. And he can just sit in the back way. With all of his little birds. And his lack of testicles. <laughs> That's what he they can go hang out. <laughs> Isn't that a problem with that scene? Because when you're a eunuch and they castrate you, they just take your balls. Yeah. So if you get kicked in the shaft, it still hurts. Well, I... But Sean Ramsey, like, eating it, so didn't they take everything? I don't know, because then he really wouldn't be able to pee. Uh, and he I mean, would I didn't probably ask about die. the logistics of that. G.O.T. catheter? <laughs> He'd still die. He'd show up in ICU with the fucking <laughs> infection. Four years. 
Yeah, I don't get that either. It's all right. It was convenient for the story. It was. And Ramsey could eat something. Ramsey is horrible. Hated his guts. He was, he's mad. You were, what's her face? Um, Game of Jones? Game Leslie of Jones? Jones? Is it Leslie Jones? Yeah. The, the, the black chick from SNL and Ghostbusters? Yeah. She's fine. <laughs> And they do, yeah, where she does, she watches it, and they film her watching it, and it's hilarious for you. <laughs> She's so funny. It's like going to the movies in Philadelphia. I went to see uh, X-Men First Class. Mm-hmm. Uh, you guys have seen it. There's a scene where Beast reveals himself as as Beast, all blue and fuzzy. Mm-hmm. He, like, pops out, and someone in the audience is like, Motherfucking Beast! <laughs> I'm like, this is the best day of my life. <laughs> I don't remember if I saw that one. It's good. It's a good one. I like X Men. Mm hmm. I just wish they would give everything to Disney and Marvel to make movies out of, because then they'd be good. Mm hmm. Like, look what happened to Spider Man. I actually didn't see Spider Man. Oh, God. Homecoming is really good. What? The newest, the, home, the newest one? I just couldn't stomach another iteration. Of but, it's like, you want to know what they do? They do not tell the origin story. Yeah, He's already that. Spider-Man. Is he like 17 years old or something? Like so if you know anything about Spider-Man, in the comics when he starts, he's in high school. He was yeah. made for kids. Mm. I don't like the villains in Spider-Man very much either. I like Doc Ock. Doc Ock's good. That's the only one that I really... Remotely. I like Mysterio, Carnage. but they never really and Carnage, yeah. Venom and Carnage. Venom and Carnage were amazing yeah. villains. I like Mysterio. The Venom Mysterio is okay, head, but they they're never being yeah. the same. He's so fucking weird. The, <laughs> what is it? The Hunter? I mean, oh, he's oh, good. Oh, yeah, I know you're coming. He, he has like the, the yeah, leopard the, shoulders. The leopard shoulders. Yeah. What? Can't see that. I'm just so are people just like watching us like nerd out about things right now? I don't know, but how? So we're let's be here. Since that's where my. Well, I don't know. Is. It depends. It depends where our as first battle is. So how do we meet? I think I hired you guys. You didn't hire shit. How about that? you have your underwear I let, contacts? I let, so I, let you, I let you travel with me because you're good with people and I hate them. I'm giving you guys money and from my town. You don't yeah. give me any money. Right. Do I, I have get all that I need? Dumplings. You were just like, hey, girl. <laughs> you're like, I can cook dumplings for you. Dumplings and mochi, sake, booze. I have brewer's tools. Why don't you use those right now? That yeah, I was frankly. Does that mean you want another beer? <laughs> oh, there's one left. I know. I'm okay. You want it? You can have it. I already had three. I, don't I had a mimosa earlier. Whatever. You guys can share. We can share. You can pour it in. A there's also like a random ghost train in there that I can steal. That's oh yeah, you like can. that when you can have it. Whatever's in the fridge. Okay. Whatever you want to split, Scott. I don't want to split anything yet. I want to finish the this door. beer. There's a whole other thing of champagne. I am gonna oh, yeah, there is a whole other thing of champagne. Hello, cat. Scott wanted to play with the cats. He's lost us. So Franklin's gonna be Tormund for him? There you go, Scott. Ah! Oh. That's perfect because he's got that red hair and the beard. It's a yeah. map. I'm trying to decide what I should be because I was like, I want to be Brienne, but I cannot pull off Brienne. Uh. It's like, unless I do just a suit of armor and so you guys are gonna, like, you're gonna, like, shift for everyone. That's the idea. I get two. Why do you get two? If they don't make giant, like, world-killing babies, I'm sure they're going to it. So I was between that Sorry, and... Sorry, but I had I've made a brand new character. I've been but I've been um, Dothraki Daenerys. Are you mad about so it? I kind of want to be, like, Queen of Daenerys. <sighs> but I could also... Can we just uh, get some things <sighs> ready for you guys real quick? Brienne, Daenerys, and Marilyn Monroe. I figured it might be funny silly. if we did Marilyn Monroe and Tormund and be like, he picked a different one. Hi there, what are you looking at? But, I don't know. What do you see? Man, maybe I should have done more characteristics and charisma to <laughs> wisdom and intelligence. Well, charisma is your highest, though, right? Yeah. Dude, badass. Yeah, so let's all calculate out for you guys. I have 30 feet speed. I'm apparently really bad with animals. No limits. Nothing should fetter the infinite possibility inherent in all existence. ancestry like fairy mm-hmm. yeah so yeah, as a night elf you are very in touch with uh, oh, and the minus one natural spirits of, of Azeroth 
Um, mm-hmm. your, your civilization is basically found, founded around the moon well. Um, By well, alignment. Well, it's the Emerald Dream too much, but your guys are very much of the nature type, and you guys are basically one and the same, where you guys kind of, not subservient to them, but you guys... FYI, my, my alignment is North Korea. And you were oh. previously immortal <laughs> yeah, until they destroyed uh, the world tree. Yes. Um, so that was during the Third War, not too long ago. Um, you were previously immortal. Uh, so your age can be anywhere from thousands of years to a brand new one. Um, but maybe you're just a little pissed off that everyone decided to kill your immortality. You might be a little resentful because of that. Um, well, resentful, that's very... Immortality you know. was cool. I know a lot of languages. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> so I think this is going for you guys. Okay. Language of love. These are really good, <laughs> even like cold. I know. I just hang out with you guys because he's. I'm like a really good. angry Arwen. That's right. I hired my assassin. No, you are like Arwen because. I'm Arwen with a chip on my shoulder. Mm. Why don't I say I put a bounty up and we all responded? I live in a tower with books. Oh, like, um... And then I peed on your books. And then, I have... You, 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 we're friends. We already know each other. Shit. You make beer, yeah, I come I over. We shit. talk about stupid shit. And boobs. Yeah. Let's get this in place real quick. Where's Hogger? Dark Matters. Like that shit. Uh, oh, Dark things? Matters, dude. I'm gonna die. So I don't have any pandas. Okay, so we have... That's okay. Night Elf. Where's Sky Dwarf. Where's Sky Dwarf? And Hogger. Uh, Hogger. 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 Outlander! Outlander! <laughs> Hello. Where's Fanny there? I'll use him. I'm going to talk like this. You can do that. You can do that. Or he has multiple languages. So what do you like to know? I read books. Sorry, I was talking about the books in the show. I don't know. It's, no, they, 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 we know that. We know Outlander. That's about all we know. <laughs> Internet and all that. Am I a boy or a girl? Whatever you'd like to be. Both. Boy, like, you're like, boy, you're fat. Girl, you're curvy. It said okay. here like it said here like gender, and I said <laughs> it's eh, a right, my answer. <laughs> right? I'm a girl. I definitely have some dwarven shielded. How, how about that? Maybe. Ooh, you're. It's about right. Do you have a bow? You don't. Well, and. Baby, baby. I just met a world. I don't think I'm an elven. I'm an monk, though. What was your character's name that night? Jameson. Jameson and Burning Bush? Jameson and Burning Bush. Yeah, Burning Bush. Oh, yeah. And some sort of heavy together, set pastor. Cindy Here's and the Metal the heavy Wolfies. set pastor. Those are our characters. Maybe. The that's, first Jewish paladin. Is this dwarf who was just a morning star, it looks like. Oh, that's yeah, pretty like, legit. He doesn't have a shield. And he's fucking bald. He looks like kerosene. Hey, you know, you never know. Oh, this little fuck. Yeah, man. This guy's cool. Looking. This one. This, this is a cool looking monk, too. With a spear. But it's a guy or a girl, it's like right? Mm-hmm. Look at uh, this tiniest thing. Look at how small this thing is. Different looking. Have you read this one, what archives? Yes. Okay. Only one time. I want to go back and read it. Yeah, me mm. too. I actually read them first, unfortunately. You read what? I read them first. This looks like he Those are my first two books I read by hand. So I was like, this is so great. And then I was like, oh my god, it's next to And then I read everything else. Oh, I read I read, uh, I read. The Way of Kings in like three days. Yeah, do the I mean, here's still a Dragonborn. Is basically, we just need something to differentiate you. And then we'll, I'll let you know if I can't, can't find something online to make a Draenei or, or purchase a Draenei or something. What's this guy look like? Uh, those are more human uh, guards. No human, like wizards. And she has. For her to choose down there. Where are you going to use? They are incredible. Fatty Bear. Is my fatty bear over there? Where's my other pouch? It's got all my shapes in it. I read the shapes in it. White Sands. Well, White Sands is a comic book. That's why you can't find it. They did. They did a cosmic. Ooh, this is fun. It looks like a mermaid. Whatever archive. He used to. Uh, this guy looks tall. Send that and one other thing to people for free. Oh, he's an elf, though. If you ask on his. Yeah, I got all my shapes in there. Roll, bitches. 
So these are actually is Warcraft characters over yeah. here, but I don't have any Draenei because this is for. Is that actually Warcraft characters? Yeah, in the board game. Oh shit! Uh, is there a dwarf? Dwarf hunter. Uh, that lady with the long hair. With a gun. I don't oh, have the long hair. So. This is probably cool. more like me. This one. Shield. Uh, female orc. Oh my god! Yeah, oh, my shield. Has there was a, another one. I'm dude, gonna take this elf. Dude, right dude right my here. shield. Sure. My shield has a mug of beer on it. Nice. There you go. Right, perfect. Bend perfect. Bend. All right, so you guys are going to start from the top portion up there, uh, probably from the little pathway in the center. Make your way down. No, I place. come out of the forest like, what up, bitches? Yeah. Lulu, I only have ten hit points. I'm gonna die. Oh, I'll just Lulu. stay back. I'll probably do the bow um, later. Go stab because. them. Actually, it's like for tough. Why does he have? Why does this little figure have to have such a prominent crotch? Can they see this on the internet? My, Look at this. My figure. I don't think it's Look at that. Spot. Look at that little thing. I, I Why? Can, He's got me... a bulge. He has a bulge. No, it's for the ladies, you know. Sometimes ladies like to play. Listen, we had some stuff. werewolves yesterday that had some serious tits, so <laughs> they were. This is, how, this is how it is, even in the fellowship, Jordan. No, I know. Like me and you out in front. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. We'll take all the shit. So. Four years after the tag team work with Horn Alliance taken down um, Try not. the evil demons the pan? Sort of. at the, uh, what was the tree called? Damn. Nordrasil. Tree of Life. The World Nordrasil. Tree. Was it Nordrasil or Sadrasil? The World Shad Tree. Was it Nordrasil or Sadrasil? Shadrasil. I think it was Shadrasil. Uh, Either way, it made me Anyway, um... The, the bonds have been broken, basically, as there's been miscellaneous conflicts on, along the roads as Alliance attacks Horde, Horde attacks Alliance. And just recently, Theramore, uh, Jaina Proudmore, a leader in the Karen Tour and on the Alliance, uh, her father led an attack against an orc encampment, slaughtering them. Orcs in revenge retaliated and attacked the Theramore uh, complex of humans slaughtering Jane's father. But that was a retaliation, so who's evil in this, in this situation? It's tough to tell. With the decreasing guards, Theramore was looking for some scouts to patrol the area outside of Theramore. Um, and just to show you guys on the world map what we're talking about. Relation. We're here. Yep. We're looking at the Dustwall Marsh. You guys are higher within Theramore Isle here. And I'll patrol out that them. way to see if there's any kind of danger present. <sighs> need more money for my um, studies. This is very This is a very old map. Yeah, this is like pre Britain Crusade. No, I mean, this is. No, this is even. What the hell is the Blasted Lands? Blasted. Is that over on the. There they are. Okay. Yeah, Eastern Kingdom. Yeah. Okay, so we're. You knocked over emoji. Do we have a um, mission? So, or so we just... once again, um, we're scouting. Now that we know who we are in life, uh, Kelsey, what is your character's name back? And just kind of a brief description as far as like if the characters were to see you right now, you are a Pandaren. What, what is, is it he, she? Not sure yet? We it? decided she. She. Mochi, she. Yes. Okay. What do you want to know what she's doing? What's her background? Yeah. What, what is she doing in Theramore? What, 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 what would her Tinder profile say? Um, <laughs> it's very strange to see Pandarens around here. I mean, really, they've only seen maybe one or two throughout these people's entire I'm just lives. just not smart, and I got lost. I like it. Just trying to make lost your way through it. life. I'm just I'm very haunted, but no one can know. There are, there are ships heading to uh, Stormwind. Maybe you maybe you fell off the Wandering <coughs> Isle, and uh, I definitely just got lost. A ship from Theramore picked you up. Oh, maybe you were hiding something. So your disguise is that you don't remember. We don't know. Nobody knows. What color fur do you have? I'm a panda. So black, black and white, because mm -hmm. they can be red pandas. Mm -hmm. They're adorable. I'm red pandas are so cute. Oh my god, they're so cute. <laughs> no, I'm a, I'm a giant. Black and white panda. They don't actually look. They don't actually look like uh look like that bear. Uh, they're very humanoid. <laughs> they look like they're very like uh, kung fu panda. <laughs> yeah. So you're Jack Black. Pretty much. But a lady. So I'm just trying to score some chow and get some cash. Not get found out about things. With the decreasing guards, they're willing to pay a decent amount for 
militia-esque type patrols out there. Mm. And what is your name? Mochi. Mochi. Mm-hmm. All right, Mochi. I can write that down. Becca, what does your character look like? Um, she's pretty short for an elf. Very skinny, black hair, green eyes. Very kind of street urchin-esque still. Doesn't look like she'd be much, but yeah, has her both hidden off. strength and talents. <laughs> and is being eaten by the panda right now. <laughs> I've broken her arm off. Like, Pandas four are times. secretly vicious. <laughs> yeah, oh, be careful with that. Yeah. 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 That particular figurine, that, uh, that was just a friend. That so. mini yeah. has had a broken arm like four times. With a bow on it? Yeah. Yeah, that bow. That so I need some calcium, is what you mean. There you go. Or some vitamin D. Yeah. Yeah. Use your full more, more, more sunlight, I think. Would help more sunlight? Yeah. No. Hi. <laughs> No, hey. Why has your Bye. night elf kind of came? Right, background is very reclusive. Why has it came into a more of a city kind of area? Stop. Um, I want re- retribution uh, against uh, the no. people that are advantaged right now. I think they need to be brought down lower. Uh, okay. Um, Stop. Stop. And there's more places to hide in the city than out in the open. Okay. And what is your character's name? Vin. Vin. D I N N. She loves Bye. fast cars. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> All right. I'm a Scott, nope. describe your character. <laughs> um, so, Thane is kind of a atypical paladin. He uh, he kind of just believes that bad is bad regardless of the cost. Um, even if maybe the light tells him to do otherwise, he'll still uh, kind of take out his target. He's been uh, he's pretty much been held for the last few years on retainer by a. Uh, Cloud Lone Storm, uh, and Whoa. keeps threatening to leave because he can do whatever he wants. But for that he whatever, keeps brewing beer. Yeah, but for whatever reason, he just keeps brewing beer and following Cloud around. Cloud loves his beer. <laughs> That's it. He's a, uh, you know, he's a dwarf, so he's short and hairy and gruff. And uh, uh, unlike the normal dwarfs you see with the lions, he's uh, he's actually gray in skin, right? He's kind of gray. It's kind of gray. He hates that cloud brings him around places because he really just likes the dark places of the earth. But I'm so charismatic. Um, he, he is. He was. He really also. He he kind of really wasn't a fan of what was going on in. Uh, oh shit! I the name of that mountain. So that's another reason. Black Rock that. Mountain. Yeah, he wasn't really a fan of the of, of the rule of King Tharzian, so he was like, mm-hmm. "Yeah, I'm out of here." Gotcha. All right. So my character, Cloud Lorestorm. Uh, came to this continent and hired the retainer Thane um, after they shared their love of good spirit. And when he's not doing that, they are searching the continent for Thane does not know, but Cloud has his ancient tomb of knowledge that he hides tome. and protects. Whatever. Tomb is fine. <laughs> tome. tome of knowledge. Why do you have a second tomb page? Because I have spells. Oh, shit, son. Okay. Yeah, don't fuck with that. Um, <laughs> and so they're searching for other old tomes of knowledge and ingredients. Knowledge is power. And, um, they, I mean, they they take up odds and end jobs to get through and keep on going through the continent. Um, I was he, a, a much more renowned urban bounty hunter yeah. before I... Got kept on retainer by this guy. Yeah. They know, I pay him well. At Thermal Isle, uh, heard of the hiring of patrols, and he recommended to Cloud that hey, this would be a good chance to get some easy gold. Mm. And uh, we wanted to search this area anyway. Yeah. I don't really need We, we figure since, since yeah. Jane, is, <laughs> Jane, is a, yes. Jane is a pretty prominent member of the Kirin Tor. And we found is, Mochi we, wandering around outside the city walls, <laughs> and we said, Where are you going? She said, I don't know. And we came out here. We have managed to get rid of her yeah. since. So like, what? Yeah, and she just followed us because we had some, some good alcohol <laughs> yes. and food. And, and then um, Vin was hired independently. I want to play very as more of a bear than a person. And very standoffish. You can be a bear. I'm trying to like, win her over. More bear-like than humanoid. By all means, isn't that the point of things like this? But one that kills things. But I'm very uh, tall, yeah, thin, there. dark blue with broad <laughs> you shoulders. You be a hunter with a pet. Ageless, too. I, I am pet. You've traveled the stars. I'm, I'm ageless. I'm tall, broad shouldered. Yeah. So I'm really you, everything tall. Everything you wish you were in real life. Yeah. yeah. Six, eight. So. Uh, there is Dark blue. So I'm now that's where we start. No. Uh, I can pull up the Warcraft race height. 
Hey, man. Oh, yeah, I yeah. Fold the heights. I put 6'8". I figured out. I want to be 6 feet. You do know we're secretly here to, to, to loot the Kirin Tor libraries, right? Yes. Okay. Not For their tomes of magical knowledge. Tombs. Tombs, uh, tombs of magical here. knowledge. I keep saying tombs. Right, here tomes. I hear you image. All right, female Pandarians. Uh, they're usually about five foot seven. I want to be six feet. You can be six foot. That's fine. Five eight. Yeah. Uh, tall for your race. Dre and I are pretty tall. Them. So I said six foot. They're, eight. they're yeah. about yeah. around seven foot. I'm seven foot. Damn it! Right. <laughs> uh, your old, old dwarfs over here. You, you get like about what? four feet. Four foot point four is your average. I keep them around because I can have them sleep in my. Basically, chest. Uh, night elves, you get about six point seven, so six and a half ish. You're tall. Yeah, yeah, you're you're, you're very tall. Yeah. You said you're um, short for your. Too short. Race. So maybe I'm only six foot. <clears throat> yeah. Six and a half. Uh, six feet. Be short. Everyone's That's fine too. Sorry, you're so tall. Dear. I mean short. Um. You were a very peculiar sight around Thermo Isle. A lot of people are like. Who the yeah. I'm very dark blue. Skin. How, uh. If someone ever asks you, like, where you're from, what do you always say? I say my mother. No, uh. I say I'm from a little island off the coast. Okay. In the. That's probably. What are the blue things? And trail off. He's a blue thing. He's a dreadnought. Yeah. Thing. He's a dreadnought. yeah. But in Mistborn, there's the blue thing. I'm from the space. He's not one of those. Sam. So. Island in the middle. So, just, so let's just set up the stage. Um. Oh, Right now, it's been about 25 years since the orc invasion. Um, humans really hate orcs because they kill a lot of humans. Um, so they're probably pretty weary as far as like rando races kind of showing up. Uh, one or two. So to see a Pandaren and a Draenei um, from right, right randomly, it's like, all right, just one of you guys. This this is okay. You guys don't seem violent, but at the same time, it might be looked at like uh, I'm not too sure. Some uh, a, a huge scythe. A you know, no, dark iron true. dwarf as well in there. It's like listen, you know, this is a human kind of uh city, but as far as we know, uh dark dark iron dwarfs don't get along with the other two clans. Um uh, but okay, this is one, we're okay. Uh night elf. Hey, we like night elves. You know, um your shade might be a little piller than the other ones. Um but <laughs> They don't really are too concerned as far as the night elf Maybe bring cast system bit. or, you know, kind of. Eat. All right, night elf. Okay, that's fine. Eat. We like night elves. They <laughs> gave yeah. up a lot for us. Eat. 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 Chomp, chomp, chomp. <laughs> so basically, you guys are a bunch of outsiders here. <laughs> that's right. We're a ragtag band. Oh, well, we're guarding to the galaxy. Yeah, pretty much. But they are in desperate need of patrols <laughs> and guards for right now. Um, so they've agreed to hire, um, but the guard keep was, uh, which one of you are the, uh, I guess leader of this band? Is that you? You're the You're smart one, JP. I am charismatic, I guess, so yes, I'm the leader leading this roaming band. Huh. It kind of looks up to you. And you're, you're they all look up because I'm some sort of Strangeness. And... Yeah. Uh, yes, I am the leader. Huh. Yeah. He kind of looks you up and down, like, sees, like, your, it's almost, I don't know if you're, your knees kind of, like, so it comes down to knee, buckles back, and then comes back down, like, a, almost like a... Like a horse? Nope. It's like a goat. Like a goat, yeah. Yeah, it's like a... Like a your like knees a, like, bent forward. Yeah, really? knees bent forward. Yeah. Cool. And then, like, the and then bend back, and yeah, then, yeah. you, like, leap. It's like, so your legs are, like... You leap? Okay, I'm like, you have hooves. Cool, I have hooves. Yeah. yeah. Like yes, a, so a it's uh, it's it's a little disconcerting for a human to like you know say a little short five you know six foot looking up at like a seven foot. Above the islands, mom. Strange. <laughs> Actually, it's funny because they kind of sound yeah. Russian. Yeah, like they kind of uh, oh, sound like a oh, weird Russian nine mix. No, that's German. Sound I know this Asian. Uh, neat, uh, uh, you do uh, sound Asian. Um, but yeah, uh, Dre and I do I sound like Russian. Russian. If you want yeah. to sound a little Russian. So. It's, it's okay with me. My collection of cast full and so full. The dwarfs I always get. Yeah, they're like, I let it. Stop yeah. staring at his knees and let's get on a Same. move on. Night elves. Same. But it all depends. Like, you could be like, like, I don't, you know, 
play to your character. Like, Niles can be very proper, but at the same time, maybe you're, night, uh, night, night, you know, living on the streets. So you're not too night, night, fancy night, anymore. Night, you know, that, oh, you that wriggleness. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> talk, talk like a dog. My ghetto Niles. Yeah, all right, ghetto Niles. <laughs> Get yeah. back you are, off you of are me. too fat to breathe, yes. <laughs> but the, uh, the city guard agreed. Uh, they pay you guys 10 gold pieces basically kind of just do a patrol around the area buy a lot uh, buy a lot of brewing supplies then <laughs> Soviet Russia beer brews you brews you <laughs> vodka <laughs> I deal in vodka as my currency go for dumpling mm. let me know it is very cold where I come from and then this, it's a very swampy through here. Your feet get stuck in the mud as you yeah. kind of trudge around this dust wall of marshes. Is the name of the area? I'm not sure if this is still is it very going. I do not walk around. It's rack. dark. There's a lot of shade. It's, uh, it's like a swamp marsh like yeah. 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 Humid though. Humid. I'm picking my feet up awkwardly because it's muddy. <laughs> Your hooves just collect like the mud like inside so of the crevices. Like, you kind of yeah, as you step, you kind of kick one leg you back and kind of shake it out. <laughs> <laughs> my my plate my plate sorry my Chain male up. boots are quickly filling up with mud. It's quite annoying. Eh. I'm just darting from mm. fur patch to fur patch. My leather is very holding intact. It is a little too moist though. I just give up and roll around in it. <laughs> mm. <laughs> she is very deadly <laughs> with her <laughs> short swords. I hear. <laughs> mud angels. <laughs> mud angels. Swamping. Nice. So let's move forward now. Nothing. Let's Please tell us so, if you see any usual wildlife. Or so plants. stick to the kind of the grass area to to uh, Jordan to your left, kind of closer to me. Mm. That would be the more of the path where the bluish kind of tent will be yeah, more. Let's, uh, let's path this yeah. way. Forest. This uh, way. You, you who's leading close. it exactly? Thane is in front. Okay. Uh, so let's do a, a check. So this is a skill check. Uh, <laughs> Let's do a perception check for everybody that's in the party. So when I, when I, I'll call up a check. So I'll say perception, All right. right? Perception check. So everyone everyone should have a d20 handy. D20. D20? No, d20. I'm incredibly perceptive right now. D20. Yet. Yes. Yeah. So everyone rolls a d20. Yeah. Now everyone look at your character sheet. And there should be a skills chart mm-hmm. over on the left-hand side somewhere. And it should have a number next to it. Got it. Oh, yeah. Okay. So find your perception. Mm-hmm. So add that number to what you rolled. Okay. So let's go around the table. Kelsey, what'd you get? Nineteen. Nineteen. Good lord. Eleven. Eleven. I'm 18, just really 18, Eleven right now. plus two. Eleven plus two. So thirteen. So whenever I say that, just just give me like the total number. Um. So you two, you notice that there's some webbing footprints kind of in the area. Webbing. Yeah, web. like some sort of oh, web, 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 web footprint oh. prints. Like ducks. And I, I don't like the look of these footprints. Yes, this is much, much too quiet. This could be the famous web toad of Thoromar March. Is anyone proficient? You're just saying stuff again, aren't you? Yes. Is anyone proficient in nature? Mm. I think I am. Oh, I thought I, I got a plus one. one. So, so when I, I ask like, if you're proficient in it, go and look at your skills and look for the bubble next to the to it. And that, if it's bubble, oh. then that tells you if you're proficient in it. No. Yeah, no, so are proficient. Are ducks? You are? No. Oh, I no. thought about it almost. No. Okay. <laughs> then don't worry about it then. Are there ducks? As you guys kind of stare around and it's like, oh. I could make a really good peeking duck. <laughs> <laughs> That's mochi. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh. mm. I like a duck friend. <laughs> As you guys kind of make your way through the scab, swamp lands, scab, uh, the mosquitoes are just trying to bite at you. You can hear the bugs. That's why I'm covered in mud. Ah. It's protecting me. Mosquitoes don't like dwarves because we're bitter. So let's go. So if you notice, the, the, the map has a grid on it, right? I don't have you. Yes. Each each I little space it. is worth five feet. If you look at your character yeah. sheet, it should tell your speed is thirty feet. <laughs> that means per turn That's you can move feet. up to thirty feet. Okay. I got so, 25 feet because I'm slow. I'll stay with you. Don't oh, worry. you're 25? Yeah, you're Because yeah. I'm a pal. Yeah, I'm a pal. You're like, oh, you're like, oh, oh, God, God. like oh, my, my, my boots get stuck in this mud all the time. And in no, certain I'm situations, not. so looking at the map, like the, the wet it's area there, fast. the more blue area, that's going to be difficult terrain. What that means is that it takes you twice as much movement to get through it. So wait, so this is a path? The green area is grassy, kind of So pathway. this is, what is this? That's like sweat swamp, that's, that's oh, okay. like just mush. Oh, so like, we're more over here? Yeah, you guys, yeah. Oh, that's the path, yeah. okay. 
There you go. Yep. You're, there you go. You're in front of me. Into so, the woods. so when I say difficult oh. terrain, so normally it'll cost you five feet to move a square. Yeah, my hand. And difficult terrain costs you ten feet. Yeah. So in a combat round, everyone goes, and during your turn, you can move at max up to your speed. Mm-hmm. It's freezing. But we'll get to that once again in combat here shortly. All right. So sometimes. She's still rolling around. No, I'm She's okay. I'm, not, I'm not out. I'm okay. covered in mud to protect myself from the mosquitoes. From the heat, the mosquitoes. I am secretly smarter than you yeah. think I am. You don't really have human blood. I don't need really care about mosquitoes. <laughs> you guys, right, let's, let's finish this patrol so we can get back. Mosquitoes actually are, are land on you, but they just can't really. Your skin type is just. Can't just get they just die. I am PG negative blood type. They die. <laughs> I'm gonna put blood. It's very rare. Very, very rare. Very Are there rare. Ducks? Do not <laughs> ask where I am from. It is very mysterious. You guys are about 100 or, or 150 feet outside the gates themselves. I just really want a duck friend. A third mile. They could As you guys make duck. your way down, are we moving? Uh, swamp lands. No, I keep saying like moving down. Basically, you guys are just waiting until battle It's time to move. Yeah. Um, we are investigating the area. Yeah. So just. It looks like you guys are fine. You guys can't end a move inside somebody else's space. Enemy or friendly, either way. Uh, so you can't move on to uh, Mochi space and then stop there. Only one, one figure per square. This has directions. Yep. And I'll, yep, as soon as we start battle, I'll explain what happens. <laughs> so when she gets back... Dang, you're a step in front of me. You guys fo- start following this web kind of... Our uh, web feet, foot trail. Um, it looks about three or four of, of these. Maybe five. It's tough to tell. As you guys make your way to the marsh. Um, I mean, it's not unexpected in a soggy place, right? I still don't like the looks of it. Meh. It's too quiet for all these footprints. It is something we could eat. Are you sleeping? Sleeping duck. Whatever it is, I say we kill it. It is amphibious, you can tell by the way. Why do you kill everything? There's good money in that. Hmm. In ducks? In dead ducks. <laughs> Walking up. In dumplings? I have them somewhere. I can get behind dumplings. Uh, there's a lot of guys over here. What do you need? Oh, this is a good one for. This was a koala? That'd be dope. I had some. I've... Bad guys somewhere. Sorry. Oh, what did I do? Oh, I think I'm in here. <sighs> there you go. What do I tell somebody? William Josephine. Twitch.tv slash Echo 5 Studios. It's on my Facebook. Trout. Do you spell out five? Or? Yes, you spell out five. It's right? actually right yep. on player name on your sheet. Yep. I didn't change that, sorry. Uh, that's fine. So, as you guys approach the swamp, you look ahead and you see a look funny thing. frog fish humanoid kind of digging away underneath a tree basin. Ew. Can I kill it? saying, it looks like the thing you slept with last night. <laughs> uh, that's what all dwarf women look like. <laughs> Yet. Who's this guy? Can I, I think we just... That's what you guys see. So you guys have been oh, kind of following like a web foot kind of pattern through the swamp. Okay. He's nasty looking. Can I run over to it? Maybe we can just ignore it and get by. This probably isn't what's causing the problems around Theramore anyway. Let's see. I can throw my spear at it. That'd be just asking for trouble. Does it see us? Not to me use my O is he within 30 feet. Does it see us? Right now, it seems to be preoccupied kind of digging for something. Throw so spear. Throw it. Is it within 30 feet? Uh, you no, can count it's it out. Not. Mm, so each space away. is worth five, so I have to be within six spaces. Yeah, no. I can't touch his mind right now. Mm-hmm. Sorry, guys. What about my uh, mm-hmm. my light bearer thing? One D is that six plus three as much as possible? Um, you throw it? Just throw it. I think it's between long Can rests. You That's your class ability? That's yeah, I can damage. double check that. I think it's between long rests, though. Do you guys want a light? I am a light to bear. But then it will we'll know we're here. We have to keep moving towards you, so we should move. Here. Okay, vamos. Right. Just in case you want more light. I don't Can I go play with it? We should keep on moving. Can I You're going to try to sneak it? by it? Oh, 
Oh, I think we should get a little closer to see what's going on. I can't sneak. Okay. Can't That's sneak. what I think. Bye. Closer. He said he's under You can go 25 feet. He's digging under a tree. <laughs> see, I could put my back against the tree and he wouldn't see it. Mm-hmm. As you get closer, you yeah. see another one kind of dig up, pop up there. Mm-hmm. As well. but, that's as far as you can go this turn, Scott. Yes, I know. That's what I did. But we're not in. We're not in combat yet. Combat. So it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah. So right now it's kind of it's free, like so. There's it's two free for all. phases. Yeah. There's during combat. That's when you're restricted. Um, I'll let you guys know mm-hmm. when you're once you're in combat. So we don't yeah. actually have to. Yeah, move us all up together. Really, yeah, we're just kind of like we all moved up a little bit because we're like. Uh, oh, well, let me go ahead and get a stealth check from everybody. Oh my god. As I assume you guys aren't like, it's like, hey, what's going on over there? Is Oi! That like, uh, what, what, do do you, Oi. what do you want us to roll for so, that? So, d d20. Stop. Yeah, whenever I do like a check, it's always a d20. For okay. the most part, unless it's damage, it's always d20. It. Plus your stealth. Oh, I was going to say you should You're just like, la la la. Hey! I'm stepping on everything. I'm a nine. I have a 14. Which is odd. Wait, do I. Minus 15. Hold on. We're like, my plus three. Like, what, are, what are we? Where are we stealth is? We're stealth. I'm a. I have eleven. As you guys approach, uh, you see two kind of digging by a tree. Go. <laughs> As speaks they a language. turn, oh, let me touch his mind. Are you within thirty feet? No. I don't know. Not yet. I don't think. You need six boxes, man. I just want to touch minds. Yeah, that's not all you want to touch. And hearts. Oh shit! More things. Vin, you are very loud. Can we see that? One? I'm sorry. Can we you see that? You gave me too much beer. Oh. I told you you were underage. In your weird egg container. As you start to hear <laughs> this, this egg. weird frog fish sound kind oh, of echo around you guys, we're gonna go into our first combat phase. Hell yeah! So what I'm gonna do with you guys is I'm gonna do some little different. From normal combat. All right. Uh, what happens is the combat is broke up into rounds. So round is when everybody kind of goes. A turn is your turn. Okay. There are four phases to your turn. You have the move phase. You have your action phase. You have a bonus action phase, and you have your reaction. Reaction be like a hellish rebuke. You only get that once per round. Damn. All right. Um, what I'm getting away with is there's a thing called opportunity of attack. I'm not doing that for this game. Uh, so basically, if like a character like, runs by you, you can attack. But I want to make sure we encourage movement during this game. As Warcraft is very much about movement, trying to get out of every effect and move around the map, stuff like that. I um, also want to kind of change it up so it's not stagnant every kind of combat either. Or every kind of turn where it's like once you get into combat, you know you kind of settle in what you need to do. Yada, yada, yada. So that's why I have these cards printed out for everybody. If you notice, your movement is printed on your green. Your action should be printed on red, and your bonus action should be printed on purple. This is awesome. For the most part, most people don't have bonus actions. Um, spells, for you, it will list it off as far as what your bonus action, if, it, if it's allowed to be a bonus action spell. Um, for you, uh, you have a bonus action to attack with your offhand weapon. For monks, I think you get offhand attack as well with your hand or f- fist like that as well. So that kind of would be a bonus action. For you, since you have a shield, you don't really necessarily get a bonus action. Unless uh, like a class builder or something like that will say you can have a bonus action for that. Oops, sorry. A lot of things, a lot of your actions are going to take place during your action phase. Um, so that would be like, I want to lift up this log. I want to attack this creature. I want to cast a spell. All right, those are going to be your green cards, and they're going to kind of explain what each one of those are. Oh, sorry, red cards. Sorry, I apologize. Green cards are your movement. This kind of go over what your movement could be. Um, if it's a difficult terrain, it's half movement. So if you have 30 feet, you run through difficult terrain, you can only move 15 feet. Uh, if you're crawling, it's 15 feet. If you're swimming, 15 feet. Climbing, 15 feet, stuff like that. Otherwise, it's your basic movement. Um, so if you notice at the bottom right of those cards... Our little D, so it'll be like something like 1D something, right? So when I say D4, that's your four sided dice. D6 is your six sided dice. D8 is your eight sided dice. D10 is your 10 sided dice. D12 is your 12 sided dice. D20 is a masterful D20 dice. What's a weapon dice? Whatever you So weapon dice is what you're equipped with. Since you're a fist, I believe you are. What's your damage rolling on those? D6? It tells you here. So where it says like. 
one D something okay. plus. One D six plus three. Okay. So you're looking so if you just bear so D six. So that means is the bigger weapon, the slower you're gonna be, possibly. So what so basically what happens is before a round starts, right? Let's say we're in combat. This is the first combat round, okay? Um you have to choose of your three movement or your three phases. Reactionary doesn't count because that happens <coughs> in reaction to an enemy. You have your movement phase, which is always a D6. You have your action phase based on what kind of action you want to do. And then you have your bonus action phase based on what kind of bonus action you want to do. So your movement phase is a D6. So you take a D6 out. Let's say everyone wants to move, right? So everyone pull aside a D6. Let's say everyone wants to attack the main weapon. So what's your weapon attack worth? A D6 is like your standard cube. Uh, so, okay, you have your weapon of damage out. Weapon, well, so pull out another D6. I have a longbow. What, which one do you want to use? Longbow. Okay. Pull that out. I uh, spells is a D10. For you over here. Uh, Does it matter since we're far away from the creatures which weapon we should use? Um, it depends. Do you want to do range? Well, if, as long as it's the same dice, it doesn't matter for right now. So right now what we're going to happen is, let's say we want to move an attack. This is just a, you know, this is for lessons right now, okay? That's all we want to do. We want to move, we want to attack with something. So everyone rolls what they have, the D6 and their damage dice. Oh, you roll both of these? Yep. D4 plus 3 and D6 plus 3. Don't worry about the pluses. Let's just roll it for now. Yep. Yeah. Two, six, so five, are you using, which one are you using? I don't know. Are you gonna throw it? We're pretty well, far both, away. These are both ranged weapons, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, so I'll go with spear. Spear. Um, so I just roll both my mm -hmm. six stacks. Yeah. So movement is six, you said. Yeah. So I need my D10. Okay. Is that your? Oh yeah, yeah. So That's D6, six, D10 for you. Good again. So now this is called the initiative phase. Right. Before around. every round, everyone rolls their initiative based on what you want to do for that round mm -hmm. for your turn. Oops. And you roll that with nine D20. <laughs> no, not a D20. It should be D6 for movement, oh, okay. and then a D whatever dice for your damage. Just for first for this round. Okay. So now what you want is hopefully you get low numbers. The lowest number goes first. The monsters are going to be rolling two. Okay? Uh, so what's your total dice roll? And we'll go around the table. What's your... 15. 15? The D8 and a D6? Mm-hmm. 9 and 6 is 15, right? But it's not a D8, How do you get it's a, a D10. Oh, you have a D10? How are you doing a D10? Oh, it's a 10. Wait, where's my 8? Yeah, I don't know where my 8 is. It's, it's probably in the next one, yeah. There you go. Okay, just kidding. 12. <laughs> yeah, I was say that. That math doesn't add up. 12. 12. <laughs> D4, that, that's D6, still, so still horrible. Mm -hmm. You okay. only pick one weapon to um, attack with. Mochi, say, so, 12. Okay, that good. My total is 6. 6. Okay. 14. 13. 13. Oh, really? <laughs> okay. So. It's like, this is a great roll, and I'm like, shit, I need shit. Right? And in the future, sorry, I didn't prepare for this, but um, let's just go with two D6s. I don't have any hit points. Um, you should. I mean, I don't have many. No, oh, I many. I mean, you had 13. Nine. I had 10. I'm dying. You got me. Let's so, back. the enemy will roll two. And now whoever has the lowest one for this round goes first. So every, every round is going to be a little bit different. Now the gamble becomes is do you necessarily need to move? Because if you don't want to move, then you might go first. You see how it kind of plays out where it's a risk versus reward kind of situation here. And then I'll tell you who goes first throughout there. So um, Vin, you will go first. I'm going to go ahead and say one of the Morlocks goes first just so I can show you how it plays out. Uh... So They're gross. Morlocks. This guy over here is going to move his movement. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. I can touch his mind. 30. Oh my god, he's up in my business. <laughs> and he's going to make an attack on Scott. Mm -hmm. So whenever you make an attack, you take a d20. As he would. Uh, roll it out. He's going to take this, add his ability modifier. So this would be... I'll show you on the character sheets when it's your turn. I need to roll mine, right? Um, nope. Oh. It's just, uh, it depends on our system. So on our system, where the other game, you guys roll defense, bombs and roll attacks on uh, this game. So mix oh, it up a little yeah. bit. 
keep a little fresh. Mm. Um, and he actually gets hits you with uh, 21. So when I say it hits you with 21, that's where you check your AC. If your AC is above that number, you're fine. <laughs> but it's not, it's not so above 21. No, it's 18, 18, though. That's pretty high. It's 18. That's but pretty legit. 21. Mine's 11. Okay. 13. So he hits you Both for three damage. Dick. Dick. So now he goes, and so if you notice, like, yeah, max hit points. So on that little giant block there, you want to write down where it makes hit points minus whatever. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, so now next up is Vin. What do I do? Whatever you want. Diesel. So, now, Sorry. basically what you decide before the round starts is what, what would you like to do during your turn? You're kind of like preemptively rolling for it, uh, for your initiative. You decide, I want to move and attack. I feel like I should throw my spear at the dude who's going to hurt my friend, right? Okay, go for it. Or it's if you're in melee range, you can close. actually just skewer him with it. Yeah, you can just poke him probably. If you move like one or two blocks, you could probably just poke him. What is that yeah, yeah. translate into doing? I roll? Well, you can move up to whatever your movement what's is. What's your so, speed? 30? So you can 30. move up to six spaces. So it looks like you only really need to go like. What's it? You're rolling roll two on your movement, so you can move 10? No, that doesn't No, that was just that's initiative. Yeah, for initiative. yeah so initiative. the first, okay. yeah, first uh, <laughs> rolling is just initiative. So initiative is just what's initiative. the order of everybody goes in. Yeah. Lower so number then, goes first. So I would say if you want to do that, then just take the two spaces here and then stab him with the spear instead of throwing it. Stabby, stabby. Stabby, stabby. And then she rolls a 20 to see if she hits him. Mm-hmm. Okay. I roll this. Not 100. This one? Is that a 20? Mm-hmm. Yes. Get him. Come on, Plus. I should say plus five to hit. Yes. So what is that number? 11. That's a six. That's a six. Eleven. So when you tie, it goes to the attacker. So the armor class, you just barely puncture through the Murloc's little scaly skin. Yeah. So that means you hit. That's good. Yeah, that's good. So as you puncture through, so now that you hit, you have to roll your damage dice. So it should tell you a one d six, I believe, right? One d six. Yep. Plus, yeah, whatever that number is, plus three. So six plus three is nine. That's pretty good. Nine. Nice. Yeah, I heard him. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, he's, you That's actually skewer it right mine. through him. You're able to kind of like kick him off the end of your spear <laughs> as the murloc falls over dead in front of you. I caught his dick. Oh, he oh, died. Good, yeah. <laughs> Cleared space for me to hit the Sushi other one. tonight. There you go. <laughs> I could have done that. Uh. <laughs> Next Not up, say that again. Yet. Yet. No, we're, we're um, friends, silly. This one's going to. Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> Come on. Oh, oh geez, this little <laughs> spines. Damn it. Uh, uh, diagonals count the same, by the way. Um, okay. I'm not going to worry about you know 7.5 or you know. No geometry. There. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're gonna find out. Okay. We're gonna investigate. I have yeah, to know. Do we know what types of creatures these are, Dungeon Master? Um, I will find out when I talk. To Outlanders, you. probably not so much. You two. Um, I know history. Though. You came from the hills. Oh, who's the history? Who's proficient in history? Me. You, you probably me. saw it in a book. Because yeah. of a book, yeah. Hey, you saw it in a book. Yeah. Go or uh, history or nature. Just history. Probably more history, since uh, nature you can see like more like oh they got gills they're amphibious. Uh, I got a history check see if you recognize them. Uh, so that'd be D twenty. D twenty. Yeah. Thirteen. Plus your bonus. Plus your history. Bonus. History bonus is three. Three. Okay, so sixteen total. Yep. Uh, you've seen these creatures in books. Uh, you've you've read warnings about them. They are very aggressive. Um. It's a little strange to see them so far from the shore. It's swampland, but they prefer very much like deeper water shoreline-ish areas, deeper pools of water to live in. Mm-hmm. So we're not quite sure why they're here, but right. they're, they're right assholes, now. and so they want to attack us because they saw yes. us. Yep. Uh, they're not civilized. They have some what language? very minor culture-esque to them. Um, they worship 
basically a powerful person or fish, maybe a giant shark that they, you know, is strong to them. Uh, Make a weird noise. Very, very basic, you know, you know culture. Um, so they have a language, so I can speak into their mind. They do have a language, yep. Yeah. Uh, but it's still their turn, and they are going to make an attack on one to the elf. The red one is going to attack the elf. The green no, one Just closest to um, to your right side over there. Cloud. Uh, Thane, yep. Or to this guy. Yep, so Thane and Cloud. So the panda is okay for right can now. Can you line them up? No. Uh, so wait, yeah. so this one's going to attack him. Yep, that one's attacking Cloud. I'm yep. getting attacked by this one. Yep. And Ben's getting attacked by that one. You got okay, it. Damn it. So I'm going to roll this yeah. one out and see if the they hit anything. Um, so I didn't want to sneak by. Does a 13 hit your AC? What's your AC? 13 tie. 13 tie goes to the attacker. He gets to roll some damage. Um, no, no, he does. He's the, he's the bad You guy. take three damage. So your hit points are down to six now. Okay. We're just like, oh, just minus six. six. Yeah. Oh, minus three. Yeah. Six. Mm-hmm. So now let's go against uh, Thane over there. Oh, another good so, roll. So uh, 19. Jeez, man. Oh, man, you got a high AC, too. I know. Uh, just a one. All one right, point so. of damage. So they have very rudimentary spears. Maybe they found something like a dead soldier. Like a rock. Stick. Yeah. Some, some rusted, like uh, right oh, six yeah, right. yeah. it. I knew I should have gotten that fixed. It's like, oh, I should put shin guards on. God yeah. damn these little things. <laughs> oh. And for you, uh, they roll five. I have an 11 armor class. So as they try to kind of, I laugh. you just kind of parry it away. Oh. Oh. My sickle. I fall oh. in a general direction. <laughs> I have a sickle. I know you do. <laughs> now, with Hellish Rebuke, let me check out the spell real quick. Oh, shit. I'm not sure if you're able to cast it right away or if it actually has to hit, if you'd like to. Probably if it hits, I would say. I would think it would hit, so I'm good right now. But if he didn't hit you, then yeah. I'm about to blow his ass away anyway. <laughs> uh, you point your finger in the creature that damaged you. Okay, he didn't, didn't no no damage, damage to you. Yes. And Stick your finger hole. in it. <laughs> Otherwise, holy <laughs> shit. Just FYI, if like you get pissed off like that, the creature must make a dexterity save and throw, so that you can kind of dodge out of the way. Otherwise, you do 2d10 fire damage. And holy he shit. explodes in front of you. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so that's a max of 20 <laughs> points of fire damage. everybody. Oh, I'm drinking it. <laughs> but remember, that counts as a first level Fair. spell. Mm-hmm. And if you look at your spell sheet, though, See. You I only get off, one. one. Yeah, yeah. So that'll burn it, and then that's so it. I get as much get Eldritch Blast as possible. possible. Exactly. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna use. Now the spells, though. Oh, don't I have healing hands too? Yep, yep. That's gonna be on your character. I think over on this oh, okay. um, So now with spells, just just FYI, um, spells casting spells are some of the melee sucks. Uh, range spells. So in other words, like if it says you have to make like a range attack on somebody and if no. someone's a melee range of you, you roll that disadvantage yeah. mm. because that person's like swinging at you at the same time. So I could take care of this red guy easier than the green guy. Um, well, are you next? You would have to kind oh, of, yeah. since I there's no, uh, yeah, you just have to take a step back, in other words. Get out of melee So range. I could do a movement. Yeah. You could be like, okay. Bitch, and then be yep. like, exactly. Yep. As I'm yeah. running, I have to blast over my shoulder. Yep. Pretty much. Um, kind of now, since we rolled for movement, now let's say so Jordan fancy. didn't didn't roll movement because he wants to kind of gamble, try to get a lower roll. He can't move because he didn't say he was going to. Mm. So that's where it becomes a gamble. You see what I mean there? Yeah. Where it's like, ah. Uh. But all the Murlocs went. So next up is going to be Cloud. Actually, no, sorry, Mochi, you're at 12, so you're next. So mochi, I mochi, chose mochi. my range weapon, and I chose... And let me just make sure the... Yep, yeah, battle's on camera. You're good. Um, and I chose to roll my movement dice. Does that mean I have to move? You don't have to move, no. But I also chose my range weapon. Yes. Then you have to use your range weapon. You have to use it. You I can't, I can't just, like... Because it, it costs an action to change weapons. So I can't just, like, change my mind and bite that guy? Nope. Sorry. All right, so I back up a few spaces. How much do I need for my range weapon? You need, uh, there's no minimum, but you just can't be in melee range. So can I? So actually, you're, I don't think you're within five feet of an enemy. Oh, I'm not. So I'm not too close to that guy. Nope. I, okay. It looks like you're so then I'm gonna longbow this motherfucker. Because there's a, yeah, there's a space between you two. Sure. So she rolls an attack. Which isn't great. Uh, seven. I do not hit him. Is that total? Uh, your, your fat little bear fingers uh, just slips off the bowl as it launches over this tiny oh, murloc. No, it kind of goes between its spines on its back. <laughs> and you don't get attacked if you disengage? No. 
So you can still move. I'll probably stay. Okay. There is swamp noises. I was about to say, like, what the yeah. fuck? <laughs> We're using uh, this is, like this a part called Sirenscape, so there's some swamp noises going on in the That's background. Cool. I didn't hit it. Oh. <laughs> just so, just to catch you up, I did not hit it. Well done, Mochi. Mochi good Why job. do I have your dice? Actually, let's go ahead and put some battle music on, too. Dun, 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 dun. Mochi, you're... Why do we bring you? I chose my, I chose my range weapon and I didn't. Uh, play. You're lucky it is such a cute bear. Uh, <laughs> maybe we eat you. Go out. You're I old. have become Russian. <laughs> Think you're both doctor. I'm rushing. Uh, Cloud, you're up. So I I picked Eldritch Blast. Yep. And uh, I have a movement, okay. which is your six here. A so. bell movement. Oh, maybe later. <laughs> All right. So four. <laughs> To move away. Okay, no, you don't have to worry about that. Uh, um, so movement is free. Movement, you can just kind of... Uh, uh, so the beginning, when we roll the uh, D6 for the movement, it's basically to see where your, where your initiative is. So to kind of grab your head around like what a, what a round is, yeah. a round takes place in six seconds. Yeah. So all this is kind of happening all at the same time within six seconds of each other. Please don't shoot me. Um, <laughs> I like your family. Okay, fire. so I'd like to move away and fire. All right, yeah, take a few steps back. Yep. Five. I'd like to fire this guy that was fucking with me earlier. Go for it. So now you roll a yeah. d20. Yeah. D20? Yep. Alright. Six. 19. 19. Woo-hoo. Okay. Okay. Uh, Nine. 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 Plus bonus. your uh, spell modifier. I should say... Um, yep, there you go. So D10. plus five to it. <laughs> 24. So 24. So basically, if my AC was higher than 24, you wouldn't have hit. But since it's much lower than 24, you hit. So that, now that means it goes to the next part where you roll the damage, which is 1d... Oh, sorry. 1d10. All right. Yep. Where is my d10? There it is. So that's going to be... My d10's in my pants. Yes. Yes. Yep. Where's yours? This is a six. Six damage to it. This okay. is absolutely really fucking helpful. Do you have any bonuses from the spell? It does six damage. As you it's release... What's the Warlock spell? Yes. Shadow Six. Bolt? Shadow, Shadow Bolt. Bolt. It's basically something yeah. like that, where it's like kind of these dark energies released from your it's hand. It's this purple fireball with a, with a green trail of flame. It's yeah. kind of hair like the undying whispers in your head oh. as it releases from your arms, dark energy. Some some last last, some last green, green Murloc. Is it alive, though? Oh, it's not. Is it what? Did it die? I don't know. That green out. Murloc has been... You see it rither to the ground as his body kind of shakes in his dark energy. Oh, yeah. It's not dead. Oh, we've, yeah. we've killed two so Don't far. Don't let again. Sorry. Wow. I'm <laughs> meddling. No, it's okay. All right. Uh, Next up. He's dead. Um, Thane. Rapid blast. Thane. Thane. Thane stabbed twice yeah. by these little fuckers. Look at this asshole. Retribution. I'm just going to attack this guy. I'm going to move nowhere. Do wait, do I get like a from behind attack bonus? Oh, I forgot no. that I had my sneak attack bonus. You didn't hit. Oh, that's true. It's uh, this, no, it's just very simple. There's no uh, okay. flank or anything like that. Alright, cool. So I'm just gonna beat this guy over the head. He's pissed me off. Smash! He's like poking at me. Oh, Thanks, thing smash. <laughs> Thanks, man. Our, our buddy's in the chat room. Who? Dixie Normus? Yeah! Hey, Dixie! I love Dixie Norman. I'm sorry, man. I didn't see. I'm not sure if you're still around, but hopefully you're still there. You're still watching. What did he say? Dixie Norman. Uh, he's, so it's a guy that's always been like we watching you. on we our, were, our Twitch channel. We were wondering channels. if you were so okay, because cool. we hadn't seen you in Maybe a while. Maybe he's from Houston. My friend Johnny was watching. Him. Thanks, man. I agree. My hair is looking fresh. <laughs> <laughs> what a nice guy. Five. <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, Five. Okay, plus. sorry. What was your D twenty roll? Five. Is plus. that uh, a control an eighteen yeah. like me? Is this a D twenty? Yes. Yeah. Five. Uh, so look at your weapon damage, or I should say, like your plus bonus? something in that column, like the middle column. Bonus? Yeah. yeah. Uh, so ten. Um, I should say, like, the middle column. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah. attack bonus, plus so, five. Plus five. Okay, okay, sorry, so I, I thought you said plus ten, I was like, yeah. okay, yeah. Ten five. total? Yeah. It, it seems just <laughs> missed. Stop. As, you suck as, at as, as a more like this rusty cleaver kind of I should have had one less beer before we set out. Why'd I hire you? Shut it, weird <laughs> Russian goat. Remember when I killed one, you didn't. Right. So that is one round. Remember when I killed one. It's okay, so, so this all kind of happened in six seconds. It's coming because you're from the Ukraine. So now, the wars are. so now it becomes Ukraine a part where, um, <laughs> sorry, didn't mean to interrupt. <laughs> I don't mean to interrupt. Uh, 
Uh, so now it comes a part which should be kind of quick where you decide what you want to do during this next round. Um, now it becomes a gamble because you guys are in melee range, but what happens if the Murloc steps back away? I'm good. So do you want to include, you know, or let's say a Murloc closes in on you, do you want to roll for your movement or not? Mm-hmm. So I'm now decide if you want to move. If you want to move, include a d6. And then what's the other one? The what if, you need to if you want to attack, action. include your weapon damage or your spell damage. Sorry, what was it? Does my action do a bonus action. No, a bonus action, you if you, it'll t- so your spells if you will weapon. tell you if it can be cast as a bonus action. Right now, so uh, I'll just blast. Your dart, a dart and a spear are both range weapons. What um, spear what if I want to speak into their mind? And if you throw that'll be an action. Or, that'll be an action. You you throw it, um, it should be, if you look yeah. at the green, uh, red ones, I mean, you could stab somebody yeah. um, so you have cast a spell, that's going to be common. I feel like that's less effective. Attack, maybe if you want with your staff. Spear is shield, probably not so much. Grapple, not so much. I would say stick with some Help, range. Maybe, or like, or you want to, like, basically, yeah. if you want to, like, grab, like, no, a Morlock's arm so he can attack yeah. it, range that could be helpful. Like, what if I could scream into their mind, stop? Like, to, like, so that would be, in my uh, mind, like, 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 an ability like, check or something like that. Yeah, I know. Hey, actually, uh... Yeah, but it's hard to tell. Is that a spell? Stop. I'll say it's ability check. It should tell you what dice it is. Okay, dungeon master. So, is this too much, is this too much metagaming, or, uh, can I be, like, a real paladin and throw my hammer at shit? You can throw a weapon, uh, and let me make sure of that real quick. If it's certain so weapons can, can be thrown, I think you'd use your strength modifier on it. Uh, but you're not proficient, probably. My proficiency bonus is plus two, and my strength modifier is plus three. But you I'm not proficient in uh, strength. I, I said it earlier. Uh, I'm not sure about that rule. So uh-huh. it's ruled towards a player. I would say it's a heavy ass hammer. Um, so include your strength. Building. Include your uh, so it'll be a. But you don't need to throw it right now. No, I'm just wondering. Yeah. I'll look that up, uh, but you're probably not proficient in it because it's it's a pretty it's heavy ass hammer. Well, no, yeah. I have a light hammer. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, that's right. right. I take the ball pee hammer. He's like, ah. okay, yeah. If you want to throw that shit, but no, I'm gonna stick with my. Uh... Okay, so <laughs> if you want to move, include a d6. If you want to attack with a weapon, include that weapon's damage. If you want to cast a spell, include a d10. If you want to do some random ass action, I think it's a d6. Wait, yeah. so hold on. So if I want to move and attack with my morning star, I roll a, a d8. And a D6? Yes. Okay. yes if you sorry. don't want to move, though... No, I do. Just in case. Okay, just I don't in know case, yeah. run away, because we're pretty fucking scared. we got a giant bear. So it's they, they don't know how dumb she is. They, they got animal. kicked out of the circus. You don't you have, have to. to. Jump through them, She's right? like Lenny in Of Mice and Men. She's like, you're so cute, but then she kills one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And also, since it's not real movement, maybe, you know, increase the likability that you're going to go before them anyway. But if they move out of the way... Well, you, you're not boned because you have two. Exactly. Yeah. I'm going to try to use the force on my turn. Okay, so everybody roll. Yeah. Let's see, uh, Let's do it! I'm rolling a six. So you're going to keep with your spear. So you're going to do two d6. That's better than last time. Because you need to. Oh, you're not moving. What'd you get? So you're just, Five. Yeah, just roll one d6. Yeah. Okay, so we have a uh, 15, you said? Yes. Oh, wait, do I have to add something to it? No, nope, just, just the straight up dice roll. Add a d10. Fiver? Yep. Nice. Two. Two! Oh, I think these great. guys are gonna be that dead. Means I, can go Ten. I roll just in case I need to move. Okay. Sometimes we want low, sometimes we want high. But I also roll to use. So the only shelter. time you want real low is during initiative phase. That was right. That's yeah. yeah. So at, at the beginning of every round, we're gonna roll an initiative to see basically who goes first during this next six seconds. Six so, seconds. So round takes like in game six seconds. Basically, like as you're stabbing it, the Murloc's gonna try to stab him as he's casting a spell, moving out of the way as she's throwing a. You know, arrow at that guy. It's all happening at the same time. Just yours lands like a millisecond before they're able to kind of dodge. So I want my initiative to be low. Yes. That makes me move faster. Yep. You well, you go before your enemies. Yeah. Oh, before the enemies. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas, like the Murloc says, I want to move and attack. So it's yeah, it's like I gotta run and then. Jump, swing, yeah. You have to give it more commands. Well, exactly. Yeah, yeah, just, just stab. That's all. Stab, so, stab. So, so since you wrote a, a two, you get to go first. What do I do? Whatever you want. You can stab that guy. So you chose to stab with the spear because that's what you rolled, right? So go ahead and. Uh, now, you chose to stab with the spear. You, didn't, you don't necessarily have to choose which target you want from the beginning. You just chose, I want to stab with the spear. So you can choose red or green there. Well, my character's facing the green. Is that. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. No. You no, just spin around and stab the red one. I shouldn't even roll my movement one. Stab the green. He's causing more damage. You never know. I, I mean, if the Morlock wants to go up and stab you, and then try to cast a spell, now you're casting at a disadvantage. So I'm going to stab the green. I'm going to so. scream in the red. Stab the green. Let's roll a d20. Okay. 
No, that's 12. I get them confused too. Yeah. I still get d12 and 20 confused. And that's <laughs> five. Five. Plus your spear is five. Ten. Ten. As you try to spear this murloc, it just kind of wiggles out of the way as it goes between Slippery its Slippery motherfucker. Back. I got my short sword now, bitch. You better watch out. As it kind of turns and sees you now, it's angry fishy eyeballs. Which one did you attack? The green one. Green guy. Oh, he turns to you. Uh, next up, Thane with a five. Dude, knock him out of this world. All right, I'm gonna. They're right next I'm to you. I'm gonna try to smack this dude again. <laughs> it's so simple. He's so slippery. So I have to roll a d8. D20. D20. Yeah. What are you hitting it with? Uh, is that a six or a nine? Uh, it's a nine. It's a nine. Nine plus, plus five, fourteen. Yeah. I'm hitting with my morning star. That'll hit. All right, now Dunk. for damage. Yep. Gotta roll my d eight. Here's the hitting him. Date. <laughs> Date. Eight plus three, eleven. Whoa, oh, man! Dude's Just head crumbles. I'm like, do. I'm like, it's you, about time, motherfucker. You hit him in the what? head, which explodes in your ex. You come down to the morning star. The only thing you see underneath sure. it is this hind legs kind of wiggling. As you pull back up, there's just mush. Ah, we'll have to clean this up later. <laughs> no, we don't have to. Head. It's the woods. All yeah, well, my morning star is oh, cleaned. It's dirty. I want to eat these things later. We can make some frog legs. It's a delicacy back there in Space Goat Land. Mochi with a 10. You're up we next. Mochi. Mm-hmm. Mochi, okay. hungry. <laughs> can I move through my friends? You can move around them. I thought oh, it so said you can move, move through, through them. Did you move through? Uh, it says you can move through a non hostile creature space. Yeah. On the card here. Yeah, you can move through them. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, Way to read the these. card. So I'm going to move through my friends to okay. this space. Sure. It's play movement, yeah. That's what you said. Yeah. Like, and then I'm going to roll two tech. You want me to roll my on hand and then off hand, or can I do both? What did you, 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 you roll? Did you roll? I rolled for my swords. Did you roll, so you roll movement and an attack, but you didn't roll for your bonus attack, though. On your, How do I, have to, what do I have to roll for my, I roll... That'll be a third D6. So well, I'm just having to move one, then. Yeah. Like, it says here you I didn't understand that. non-hostile character space. Fuck my I life. Step. I don't hit him, I suck today. I <laughs> it's okay. Six. Well, yeah, this is like shove, As you, attack. uh, try to dagger him, or what do you have, a short sword? Short try, sword. Try to Grapple. cleave him. You, you slice off a little fin, but it doesn't seem to do any damage to him. Okay. Hey, that fin will make a nice necklace later. Motion. Yeah. It's true. Yeah, so this, this for the first round is just kind of actions. As so bonus I actions. To, I would have had to roll another d6 exactly, if I wanted yeah. to use my offhand. Yeah. Yep. So wait, I could have rolled three dice to use my Morning Star and Hammer? Um, no, because you have your shield equipped. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I'd so have to decide, I'd have to do another to action roll. to put my shield away and equip my hammer. Exactly. So could I do a spell arm. in my scythe? I just he have to does like dice? the old god, so I could grow a tentacle. Um, I would say just for this turn, or for this day, yeah, I'll double check that, but yeah. Uh, you can't do double spells, though, I know that. I can't? You can't. I would assume, spells. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Otherwise, you'd just be unstoppable. But, yeah. yeah, but it's okay, because then they try to hit you, and you hit them back for 20. I can't. I don't even think that if it's a concentration spell, you would be able to also throw a weapon. Probably not. It takes a lot what of your... Uh, uh, it's going to try to take you. Great. Mochi <laughs> misses. Fuck off. You hit my fin. <laughs> As it takes this rusty-ass cleaver, it kind of goes towards your pandering body, but you're too quick somehow. As you're able to dodge out of the way. I'm slippery too because I rolled in the mud. (laughs) As you're mad at first, I just just can't concentrate on it, I guess. We're playing patty cake now. Um, And is a dead roll to move too? Move out the viewways. I will handle this. Uh, So it attacks now, so it's like, peace, peace. I will move out the viewway. Oh, an asshole. He ran away so far. Next up is okay. Is Cloud. Is my elder crush go as far as possible? Yes. So I'm gonna do another blast. Roll my d20. I get a four. Plus. Plus. Uh, my spell was a five, so a nine. Oh nine. no! It, yeah, yeah, nine. Nine total. Uh, as it's kind of heading away, it's bobbing and weaving as it kind of lumbers through the the swamp. Um, but its webbed feet is able to kind of move across the water and the mush pretty more easily than you guys are. You trying to burn the, the whole place down with us in it? Elder Blast, or the 
uh, the, the shadow blast goes past that and just screens and misses him off his right shoulder. This guy sucks. I hate this guy. Yeah. He's, being a canoe. He's slippery. All right, so that's second round. So now begin the round. Think about what you like to do for this round. Definitely got to move this time, huh? So would this be where I might want to switch to my dart? Because they're better at long distance. Up to you. Or you can chase him down. Your spear can also be thrown. Are we incorporating my metal talents Actually, here? Actually, I'm just going to fucking longbow this bitch. Awesome. That's a little too meta gaming. Got it. Unfortunately. So like for you, just roll a d10 because it's just a spear. Just attack, yeah. You still have to kind of follow the rules. Eight. You got a nine. Try to describe what you want to do. D8? Yeah. For what? For my longbow. Now, it takes time to switch out weapons. What do you mean? You have two swords. It's not free action. You have two swords out. If you want to take out your longbow, it's going to You can still out. run at him, right? You can move 30 feet. Yeah. But you, you have to run do at him. Right? Well, I have charge. I need another D6. You can roll a D6 twice. Stop That's fine. Stand up. High long jump. Oh, I can jump. Oh, wait, we can jump. And three, nine. Is my I I have I have everybody rolled? I have a nine. No, not yet. What am I supposed to roll? Uh, would you like to move? Probably. Ability check. Escape. I can high long jump. Uh, that will come in handy if they could try to clear like a uh, ravine or something like uh, that. And then what about these? Hell. So as you kind of go through that, that bluish area, mm-hmm. that becomes difficult terrain. So mm-hmm. every, like no way each square is five feet worth of your movement, it becomes ten feet. So because you're, you're five feet for five feet, does that mean I can go? better? So, move it. Um, it's a combination of the two. So, like, let's say... I'll come over here real quick. Ugh. Let's say... You're, you're right here, zero. right? You want to take this route mm-hmm. through, right? Mm-hmm. So, this would be, like, zero. five... No, I'll first. give you ten... No, I wrote a nine. Fifteen... Blows but now, to get through here, it's very difficult to slow the water down. That'll be twenty-five, and then you can't really get to there because it'd be over your movement, because... And basically, you're just like, your, like your, your, your boots are sucking into the mud now as you're trying to pull it through. You're wading through this kind of waterish area. Nasty. You can Wait. get close enough to blow a dart. Yeah, you'd be nice to blow a dart at. Or but you have to change, is there darts they easy just, to. Or chuck a dart. You can chuck your spear. I just too, imagine there's blow darts for some reason. <laughs> um, for if you have a armor. free hand, I'll say, since you have a spear, you can hold the spear with one hand, pull out a dart, chuck it. Uh, something like that. So uh, if you, if you, since you're holding like a shield and a morning star, yeah, yeah, to, to, to grab a yeah. grab like a throwing hammer. I've rolled to move. I would say I probably have to put your yeah yeah, yeah bonus action. I, I'll think about that for next time. Well, how much does it cost? What's to say? With my spear, bonus I action to switch out weapons real quick, one-handed weapons. So if you want to put your your morning star away, grab your light hammer and throw it. That's fine. No, but I gotta. I'm gonna move. Okay. Um. So the total is we got nine over here. Nine. 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 Three of us have Six. nine. For your spear? Let me yeah, blow yes. him up. Mm-hmm. I want to blow him up. Let me blow him up. Um, Why? Well, no, that's good. Because... You go first. You go first. No, this is initiative. Yeah, low is good. Low is good. So, so fucking throw your dart at him. Throw your dart. So what? Spear. Um, so, so. Okay, so that's just 1d6. Um, so you need to roll if... You have a free hand. Yeah, okay, so that's your... She, well, she's using a spear. You can throw the spear, man. You're going to throw the spear? All right, uh, you get a one then. I like it. You go. All right. Yeah. Um, and what do they get? Okay. Sure. Uh, you're up first. As you as you try to stab it and it takes off running, you're just like, what this? And you kind of so roll a d20 yeah. and see if you're gonna launch a spear. Pull a night king. Yeah, yeah. 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 You pull a night like king. Yeah. So uh, no, d20. d20. Yeah. D20 to hit. This guy. So. Um, oh, rule of thumb is it's always gonna be a d20 unless it's dealing damage or we're rolling for initiative. Otherwise, it's always a deep point. Seven. Plus five, twelve. 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 You launch this spear, and it looks like it's going wide. It's like shit. But the Morlock just kind of like like dodge on the way, and it kind of maneuvers right in front of it. Yeah. Roll damage to see where you hit it. So you hit him. D six. You definitely hit him. Come on, Night King. Six. Oh, max damage plus. Plus three piercing? Nine. Nine? That dude's dead. This is the round you of nine. Yes, yeah, you skewer. Yes. Uh, Morlock through so as it is just kind of like dinner. slowly <sighs> creams down it. As the last, last gaping 
scream. More like bitches. It alerts. What's this? Oh, the king. No. Now you pissed off mama. Uh oh. Mama Murloc. I already skewered two guys. Come on. Oh, yeah. Let's make sure we're in Shire. <laughs> Piss got off. That was, that was Peanut. That was Felix. That was Scott. That Lucy. was Lucy. This is Natalie. You're all pissed off. As that last round comes to conclusion, as that last Morlock dies, this is a brand new round now. As this new Morlock kind of sludges oh, up round. through the sludge. Yep. <laughs> Protect me. Protect me. I am too lazy. I must make potato so I'm so I must make potato This water. particular Merlock really seems much party. sturdier, much stronger, uh, very vibrant colored. Get down. Mm. Yeah. Get down. Looks like it must be the leader. Sorry. I can go prone. Oh, back with your things. That's one of my things. I found it. I found it. I can drop prone. Yeah, so movement is... It depends. Yeah, you can like, I'm just take cover. You can always well, take cover. Unless like not. something comes flying over your head, you're like, whoa. Yeah, like, 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 like let's around, say like babe. she throws a spin on their spears down that way. By the way, yeah, so you, you don't have your spear anymore. Oh, if you gone. have a bow, you're gonna change things out. You got oh. it on the first one I stabbed. Wouldn't my other you still have it because you're just kind of like stabbing uh, it, throwing it back. But, but now you chopped it. it. Yeah, you were using it as a weapon. So now you have got my darts. Bless you. Or melee, like, or can she? You must have more weapons. You're a monk. She's a monk. She can use your spears. I should I should have a damage modifier on your on your punches, your bare hands. She has bare hands. Ah. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I, had to. I never actually the right to bear arms. Um, I don't think it's on there. It's not on there, but you should do. I got a fucking sickle. Oh, no. You better get in there and fucking do it then, man, or like use your sickle orb. I want to sickle everybody. Sickle them. So for like your unhand strikes, normally for like, like you guys who use unhand strikes, it's just your strength. Like you roll an attack yeah. and you add your strength. For her, she rolls an extra d4 with it. Alright, so I guess we're rolling for initiative against this thing. When you use attack action with an unarmed strike or monk weapon, on your turn you can make one unarmed strike. So I need a movement. And I want to do something interesting. Okay. So when she gets back, we'll uh, roll for whatever you want to do for your turn. Okay. So I need two d6s. Is there a bathroom? Did she go to this bathroom? Yeah, she might have went to the oh. bathroom. Gotcha. I got a four. Yes. I put my... So I'm going to do a circle. Shit. Okay. Uh, you rolled a four over there? Mm-hmm. Okay, we'll lay four. Are we rolling a new initiative or? Yep, new initiative. Well, sure. So I can't. So if you want to move, attack, bonus attack, it'll be three d six. Do it, do it, do it. Do now uh, there are some other at, uh, action phases in here. Let me just go through real quick. Uh, you have your normal attack. That's you have your cast a spell. Those are kind of your basic ones there. Uh, you have ability check, like if you want to perceive if there's maybe someone hiding in the shadow. You can help an ally. Like, yeah. let's say uh, Scott's, you know, you guys are in melee range, and Scott's like, I want to help, you know, uh, Mochi or something like that with an attack. He can kind of distract the creature as she attacks with it. What that means is that like, she gets advantage with her attack. I'm going to move. Uh, attack, you can hide. So let's see if I can go behind a tree and kind of duck waves. So maybe like, the creature's like, I thought there was somebody over there. I'm not, I'm going to ignore them then, basically. Um, you can dash, which means you get double movement. Yeah. Uh, you can dodge, which means like I'm just gonna go defensive yeah, phase. Yeah. I just want to protect yeah. myself. I'm just going to roll. Basically, they try to make an attack on you. They roll with disadvantage against you. Shove. I'm just gonna push a creature. Grapple. I'm gonna hug that creature and hold him still. I want a hug. Oh, I just want a hug. Oh, I just want a hug. Oh, Mochi, can I get a hug from this? Thing? All right. Um. So let's go ahead and get the initial orders again. I got nine over here. It's four. I got four over there. I got eleven. What am I? For initiative. What so your action you want to do in a move six. And what you want to attack with. So if you want to. If you want to attack. Yeah. You have darts or you can run at them and punch them. Or so you can do something. So basically, uh, the so I guess the, the logic kind of flow is, do I want to move? Four, yes. so if I if I want to move, then include yeah. D6. So and then what action do I want to do? Do I want to attack with. It's the one on the bottom. 
So if I want to dash, do I have to roll an extra d6? Or? Dash would count as an action, yeah. and the default for that is, a, I should say, the bounce card. It's just 1d6. Yeah, so d6. So I have to roll another yeah. one? So you can't attack, though. You can you only get one that's action that's per that's turn. That's stupid. No, never mind. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. That's up to you. So you get You'll one... Lower, well, so you lower. I don't say one movement. Movement is kind of its own you know kind of fluid I mean? thing. Uh, you only get one action. That's that's that one bonus action. That's but it. But you got, like, fisticuffs, don't you? We gotta find out her fisticuff. Bonus. She's good. She so when you roll to like punch, you can punch twice. Well, we're doing darts since they're ring. Okay, yeah. Would be better it. off just rolling the four instead. Is of that the dart? Yeah. Yeah, just roll a d4 then. And basically, you can try to throw a dart at it. Yeah, throw a dart at its head. Bitch. Two. <laughs> okay, two over there for Vin. I uh, actually rolled three dice and got a six. Damn. Okay. Uh, Vin, you start off as. You see this giant murloc coming out towards you. You're just like, Fuck it. I got to think quick on my feet over here. I was going to throw a dart at his face. So go ahead and th- uh, roll a d20. Yep. Fava B. Big money, big money, no whammies. 19. 19? That'll hit. Plus, what do I add? Uh, so, so, I so, so that plus middle number is your, what, your attack bonus? Oh. Plus 5. Yep. So that's 24. That would... So I compare that number to its armor class, and that definitely hits. So now when you hit, that's when you roll the damage yeah. dice on so the right. The damage dice is a four plus. Good, good. Yep. Good, good, good. So that's how much damage I'm doing to the. Mm-hmm. Yep, with the icky thing. To the icky. Four plus, and then add your. There's a bonus for that. Plus three piercing. Mm-hmm. So that's seven. Yep. Seven, seven damage. Damn. This guy killed this thing. Good go. Face. For in tonight. the eye. Right in the left eye of this <laughs> little fish eye. <laughs> but it's still alive. Dang. Damn it. Need some backup here, guys. Next up. Uh, Cloud. Mm. Why does the Merlock I feel like it should be Von Cloud for old? some reason. Von Cloud. Surprise. Cloud Von Lord so Storm. I would love to... That's not bad. So, uh, uh, just real quick, uh, as an option, you can always hold your action until after somebody else's action. So let's say yeah. you want to hold your action after uh, Mochi's what, action. Yeah. After yeah, so like, or I'm like, eh, I'm gonna wait for the Murloc to do something. Right. I call yeah. my best friend Stephen. No. Um, <laughs> right. So I did a movement and I did a action a uh, D6. Movement. Yes. So I could search the area where the earlier Morlocks were digging. Can you okay. get all the way over there? I don't know. Where were they digging at? They were digging it over there. Um, so that well, there's be, one over here, two that, over there. That would be an investigation check as you're trying to see, like, what were they thinking? Like, almost like an intelligence, like, yeah. uh, what are they doing over there? Sure. Can I help him with so my So now what, what dice are I rolling? You're not trying to kill him? You would have to kind of pair no, up No, no, I want to see what they're yeah, doing. That would be an assist Are we action. disturbing their hunting ground, or do, is there some easy way? Do they have weakness? So investigate the area, I guess. Yep. So uh, D20? Yeah, D20, yeah. And then add your investigation check. 11 plus investigation, 14. 14. You look down there, um... It, it looks like they're tearing apart, kind of like... Nests, almost. It looks like alligator eggs or something from from your history of them. I do have an egg with evil things on it. So basically, they were destroying nests. To, to make they were trying eat. to find food, yeah. probably. Yeah. That's so, what I. So think. we're on their hunting ground. Possibly. So that's what you. That'll be your action to kind of investigate that. Now you set a movement phase, though. You can still yeah. move. All right, so I can move up to thirty feet. One, two, three. You can four, go through five, us. You know. Six. I want to be over here by myself. Okay. Because now I'm going to fucking blast them next turn. Alright. All right. What did you, you... You go now, right? Six? Next up is Mochi. So I'm going to approach... One, two, three, four... And then one more. Five, six? Yeah. yeah. And then I'm going to hold my action. Um... There's no holding actions on this phase. What do you mean? Basically, it's holding your turn. You can't, like, move and then wait. Oh, right, yeah. then I hold my whole turn. Until after who? This guy. Okay, that's fine. This fucking guy. That's okay. So if I started, is it now the more locked? No, it depends. I had an 11. So does he go or do I go? 
Um, fuck that I roll. Oh, he goes actually. All right. Well, so when you when you wait, it has to be after his full he turn. He has no left eye. Where where you go? Okay. Where where where? Here, I'm gonna scratch my butt. Okay. Um, <laughs> so move the fuck out of the way, Mochi. Why did we bring you? I uh. throw this real quick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm such a dick. Uh, oh, my boys. Look at my boy. They're gonna strike. I'm gonna blast this bitch. Here we go. Right there. It's gonna Is attack Mochi. No, it's her butt, though. It is right up the butt. So, wait, does it get to attack me first? Yep. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, yeah. No, the... bitch! And it does a 12 hit. Damn. No. It doesn't. As it comes charging with his rusty spear tip, it tries to That was a long noise. way to charge. I saw you coming, dude. <laughs> you and it misses you. Your voice sounds much too smart. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> uh, Why are you running now? Now you held your action until after its turn. Running? If you'd like to go now, now you can. Oh, it wants a hey, what, are you, what are you doing? I'm attacking with my short swords. You'd have to roll a d20, though. This is, listen. <laughs> Somebody You're overbearing. Wants. So, 18 that's and stuff. 18 on my head with the first one. Offhand attack sounds like a really casual attack. Like, no. Offhand, you yeah. don't end your... No, sorry, Bonus you do. To it. Yeah, you so do, you do. Offhand doesn't... I do? Yes, but damage doesn't. So when it... Okay, so did you hit with the offhand? What'd you get? Well, I got a... You said I do add my bonus? Yes. 10, but I don't know. 10 total? Mm-hmm. 10 doesn't hit. Okay. So if you hit with your offhand, since you're not trained in it yet, um, you would roll your damage dice, but you don't add your dexterity modifier to it. Stranger things. Okay, so I only roll one damage here. Um, are there friends in melee combat with it? It doesn't. I think no. it's out of range. No. Nope. Then it's just one d6 for it. Yep. And then add your six. Six plus four. Ten damage. Damn, what is like 19 damage so far? Mm-hmm. Fuck off! Shit! Yeah. Yeah. You gotta like, chop this guy down. Mochi, if I can get about to get it. <laughs> I don't worry. Alright. You, you come down with your sword, and you just right where you think like a clavicle s- would be, like for a. Uh, uh, Whatever the fuck frog this thing fish is. guy, Murloc. <laughs> a frog um, fish. Frog fish. Um, yeah, like it's looking Man-Man pretty Man-Man. haggard, though, now, as its eye has no uh, up. A, a dart in it. Uh, a deep cleave wound. Your, your second hand attack, though, just misses over over it, though. Uh, next up. Get out uh, the way, Zane. Zane! All right, motherfucker. Oh, you got this thing. Just kill it. I'm tired of this thing. <laughs> um, six? You suck at this thing. Eleven. Because I got plus five. Eleven would miss it. Oh. Dick. As... The May the sunlight just shines off of the the Slippery swamp butt basin butt. or hate, off of its I scales. Hate, I hate sunlight. Just enough to blind you for a second I as, as your morning star comes down and misses it. Uh, this is when she comes back. Well, everybody else can roll. Uh, go ahead and roll your roll for initiative. initiative. Seven. Two, seven, four. What you got? Why is that a D12? Because that's the attack I'm doing. Or is Holy it a... crap! That's D- gonna be great. 12 or a D10? This is a D12. Oh man! Doing witch bolt. Oh, 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 oh not holding With back. With a two? So I'm a four. With a two. That thing's gonna explode. Jeez. I hope so. That's the plan. I'm just tired of this thing hanging around. It's annoying me. Uh, Twenty. <laughs> was that is natural that your 20? Role for <laughs> I just got impatient, sorry. Okay, right, so we'll wait for her just in case. Yeah. Um, and then I'll explain what next 20 means. When she comes back. Critical? So what, that's, that's, that's a critical hit. That means, like, shit explodes. Yeah, I can't that. depend on anybody else. Mochi hit him once <laughs> at trying five times. <laughs> She's throwing darts. What the fuck? <laughs> this guy's hit you gotta once. You got to go He's get yours. I, do, I am. I'm a so fucking dwarf, So roll for dwarf, initiative for whatever you're going to do next round. Six. Yeah, you're just going to spit a dart. Or, uh, actually, if you want to do melee, if you want to do, like, a uh, left hook, right hook, you do 2d4s. That'd be I cool. I was going to get my spear back. Well, you don't have you to do that. Your yeah. spear is your spear's over there. Yeah, yeah we, we got to right remember. You can run and get it. Later. Do, do okay. 2d4s. Okay. Yeah. 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 Ye
four. Is that so not D6? Yeah, I would suggest, yeah, because monks are really good with their fists. Even if, like, it counts as a kick, like a left yeah. hook, right roundhouse, but like that. But does she also oh have God. to re- roll for the movement matrix, then, if she needs to move? Um, are you within range? No. Uh, I don't then, yeah, it'll be a 2d4 is and a d6 then. I think it's the one three? that's not on there. Yep. That's if you want to move three. to hit it, or you could spit Four. a dart. One. I feel like my darts have been pretty strong. You roll a d6, and that's fine too. That's fine. One d6? Yeah. How do you interpret this fucking is thing? Is it the number that's not on there? Uh, it depends. They're all, I think, for the most part, it's the... <laughs> Flat one that's on the bottom. It should be for I think for everybody else. Yes. So like it's a four. Yes. Yeah. So her dart's a four, so she'll only roll a four. A four? But then there's okay. multiple sides, so do I take? Oh, right. oh okay. Yeah. The bottom one. Yeah, one and three. Wait, dart yes. Oh, yeah. Three. A three. Plus okay. five. Nope. Not yet. That's not an initiative. This is an initiative. Yep. Yeah. So for initiative, it's just straight up dice. No so more. Whatever the total is with dice. Already. So. Why I roll a six sided dice for an initiative? No, only that's if you want to move. It, if you want to move. It depends yeah, on what action you want to yeah. take. Don't worry. So, like, uh, so what I was thinking about is, if do I want to move? If so, include a d6. Um, do I want to attack? You're all close. Then include the dice damage for that weapon. Do I want to do a bonus action to do something, let's say, like an offhand attack? Then include that, that dice damage that dice damage with that roll as well. If I don't have my spear anymore, I can't do an offhand attack, though, right? You can okay. use your monks are throw a dart, throw a punch. Monks are punches. They're they're all about punches, and kicks, and shaking things in front of microphones. It's well, yeah. no, you're fine. With that. So put it back away. yeah. So now what happened was he actually goes first with a two, and he rolled he rolled a d20. He actually got 20 on that. So as I mentioned before, that's a critical success. What that means is you do critical damage to the creature. I hope so. So. so so what we're going to do for this, a little bit different than the other game, is you're going to take the max damage for the dice. So a d12, so it's 12, Yeah. right? And then roll another d12 and add that to it. 12. Fuck. Do you see how it rolled up? Then and then, I'm not sure if there's add any more damage to it. Uh, I don't... So, I should plus 5, 17. 7, okay, so it's 12 plus 12 plus 5. 29. That's 29 points of damage. <laughs> You guys suck at this. <laughs> um, I know a lot of times when you, when you kill a boss, I always like to ask, how do you want to do this? In other words, as you cast this witch bolt from you, how do you what want to kill this? Boss? It zaps oh, it right in the chest, and as it looks it down, as electricity is coursing over its body, its chest explodes, spilling its mm. contents, do I take any and its damage? thorax all over Mochi and Thane. <laughs> ah, you always get my armor so dirty when you do this. Oh, dirty. <laughs> <laughs> dirty. Oh, this is fun. No, an eight intelligence Can isn't. It? It's not you know. that low. Like, eight intelligence <coughs> isn't that low. It's like, Brar's a three, right? Brar's a four. It's Brar's a four. He's, he's a Brar Bear. Dumb, yeah. He definitely plays higher than his intelligence yeah. sometimes. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's, but it's, you're just below, you're just below average, that's all. You, you got, you have a GED, you're fine. Yeah. Like, I can speak. You, you work the fast food window. Yeah. Ooh, fast food window. Marsh. Well, we killed that guy. So he, he did. did. So he explodes. Fuck yeah. Uh, as this orange-ish spine rolls just kind of explode over your guys' faces. Yeah. Your guys' is combat Sploosh. for that turn Sploosh. has ended. Has so ended. I did the most damage, guys. Suck it. That was great teamwork. You guys return to Thermore Isle <laughs> to report on what you have found. Did you grab your spear? Some fucking no, robots. how do I go about grabbing your spear? Just say it, 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 your spears you and darts from the dead do. bodies. Yeah, I'll say you pick up your spear, you pick up your dart from the, the eye. Well, the dart, who knows what the dart is? That's that was in the eye. Oh, yeah, it exploded, yeah. Oh, the other it's, one. It, 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 oh, yeah. It exploded. <coughs> we'll, we'll see if she finds so that. You find it. It's just on the floor. I have nine darts now. It exploded, actually hit Mochi. Does anyone want the eyeball? It's like a... Steve. I'll eat it. Steve is here. Hi. Oh, I'm here to help. Okay, let's report to Steve. Steve. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> so now I go back for a pint, right? Yeah, you head right back you to Thamor Isle as the guard captain greets you. Ah. Your Boy. presence is needed in Stormwind. Ooh. Immediately. There's a oh, ship god. leading tonight. But my hearthstone's set in Iron Forge. <laughs> what? Oh, what the tragedy. Me- metagaming. <laughs> what is this hearthstone? <laughs> we all have hearthstones, god. It's more work. Jaina Proudmore calls you. Who does? Jaina Proudmore. Is she the one whose dad died? Yes. Yeah. Where is she from? 
Uh, she's she, uh, the guard captain. Mentioned that she's waiting for you in Stormwind. Ah, let's get on that boat. Already going. I don't like boats. Fuck it. Wait, we're not going. We're taking the boat. No, we're going. Boats. We're going. The fate of all of We're, we're the going, Mochi. Don't worry. Okay. Says, don't talk to me. Don't. I like how you're like princess. petting Mochi. I don't want to yeah. leave. You're our like friends. there, there. I want to oh. help the princess. <laughs> and on that note, we'll call for today. Thanks for watching. Dix, we missed you. Yeah, Dix. <laughs> That's funny. His name's your Dix Enormous. Your Dix Enormous? Your Dix Enormous? Dixie. 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 Oh, Dixie. Dixie. I thought it was your Dix Enormous. No. Like, Dixie. I'm like, thanks. Yeah. Your Dix Enormous. How would you Dixie. know? We've never met. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, oh, you know. but thank you. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, a little more terrible D&D, this game. Warcraft. No, uh, everything will pick up as we learn the rules. I mean, you're still learning the rules. Everybody's kind of learning the rules. Um, once it, it comes very natural, once we all kind of get into it. Uh, now that I know that we are on the Alliance side, it'll be fun. Uh, Apparently we're on the Alliance. Gotta go get that Defias Supposedly brotherhood. we're on the Alliance you know? side. Gotta go get that Defias We might default later on. Well, who knows? What will happen Bye. there? Uh, and it's actually fun, because a lot of the classic yeah. vanilla Warcraft is... The story's good. Very, uh... Alliance focused. Alliance, yeah, focused, yeah, definitely. The, the Westfall story, the Onyxia quest line... It's all real good. Yeah, there's not. I mean, even uh, it's all Black Rock Mountain. Scott's never played. Uh, never heard of it. World I don't know if you heard about World of Warcraft at all. Huh? Uh, I don't know. What the, I don't even know what we're talking. Wow! About. Wow! Oh, wow! Wow! Uh, it's a great game. Check it out. Uh, only you know, a few million people play it. It's only been around for like years or something. And if any, if any of my friends from college really gave a hard time playing World of Warcraft, ever see this, I will never live it down. Right? That's right. I will get a phone call from some random person I've talked to in 10 years and be like, are you fucking kidding me? Right? You said we were awful. <laughs> you made so much money. You never hung out with us. Oh, thank you guys for watching. If you guys can donate, uh, there are charities down below. Uh, we're trying to raise money for Hurricane Harvey. Uh, Red Cross link is down below on our Twitch channel. That's a good place. Uh, you if you guys, money. There's also a donation for American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. Uh, try to join to those two places. If you guys can donate, we understand that. What you can do, though, is like, subscribe, follow people. us on all the uh, social medias. Tell We're all on of Facebook, your friends. Twitch, Twitter, Instagram. Find us on Echo5Studios.com. We're on YouTube. Subscribe to us. All that does help. Uh, all the ad revenue that we get goes towards charities. We can't tell you guys to click on the ads. We can't tell you guys to not click on the ads. But what I can tell you is that all the revenue from those you should do is... Something. Directly passed over to charity. Do so, whatever you want. It's for do their permission as you will. If your mouse happens over do there. Do whatever you want. Let's I mean, let's say, Swanson. Whatever. It let's happens. say you tell your mom that you play and she wants to watch and she clicks on an ad. I mean, that's great. You know? It's America. <laughs> you are free to do what you want. It's your world. We're just living in it. This is the World of Warcraft, D&D. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Night.